come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, where a movie talk show podcast comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination. You can help us out with that by going over to wherever you found us and hitting that like or subscribe button. All of that stuff helps us get found by other like-minded folks like you. And we appreciate you. We need you. We need you to do this thing for us. Because In this moment, more than ever, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> we need you. We want to become the fastest growing internet podcast mm-hmm. in the galaxy these are the internet radio superstars evil dies tonight <laughs> evil, evil dies, dies tonight. tonight evil, evil dies, dies tonight, tonight. Uh, uh, I'm Michaela. You know what? I think they killed it. <laughs> I think they killed it. They, they killed a lot of things, but I don't think it's the things they intended to kill. No. You know, no. Michaela. No. By the way, uh, Holly, Sean, I'm um, Colin, <laughs> and as you might have guessed, tonight we watched this week, uh, this year's big, big horror movie, Halloween Kills. Yeah. We did. This is, uh, yeah, we did. So, uh, <laughs> cheers are We just we, watched we, we did, it. We did. Yes. We just finished it. Minutes ago, we finished it. And I guess, as you know, this is going to go. We are going to spoil this movie. Uh, I mean, obviously, a lot of you have seen it at this point in time. And the future people, you know, hello, uh, mm-hmm. welcome. Uh, so, this is a hot take on the movie that we just uh, saw. So, um, I don't yeah. <laughs> start, start, start like we normally do director yeah, who, who and writer. Oh, yeah. and all uh, that. Who directed this movie? Who directed this movie? Uh, David Gordon Green. Yeah. Who else who? directed Halloween 2018? There you go. Yeah. Okay. Which is all that matters at this point. Okay. Um, <laughs> the stuff he did before that, we don't care about. At one point, he was he thought was of as comedy? like an indie. Well, George yeah. Washington, that movie was thought of as like a, you, you know, George like, Washington? Yeah, it's like this is going to be. Did we like talk a, about him on the 2018 episode? Maybe. So we should skip right past. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Let's. I think more importantly, who is this movie written by? Because that's maybe not as yeah, important. Yeah. Who was it? Who wrote I, it? I thought it was the same as 2018. David Gordon Green and Danny McBride and like maybe one other person. One Let me double check. Person. I just want their names on record, <laughs> <laughs> just so everybody knows. You know, Holly, I think it's interesting that you were saying we shouldn't explain something that we previously did on an episode because <laughs> this whole movie is. Hey, remember what happened in 2018? Right. Let's go watch it again. Yeah, let's remember go watch what it again. happened an hour ago? Yeah. Right. Let's We're go watch show it again. again. Yeah. 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 Attention spans, they don't exist anymore. Yeah. It's like, do you remember what happened in 78? We're going to show you. And then an hour later, do you still <laughs> remember? Because we're like, going to show you again. We assume you were laughing a lot during that first time. <laughs> so we're going to show it to you again this time, just so you got the picture. Okay. The, the credited writers Here are. We go. Uh, Scott Thomas, Danny McBride, and David Gordon Green, and then obviously Carpenter and Hill get story by credits. credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. full disclosure tonight when we watched this movie, was it, were we sitting down? Was this a hate watch? No, I, I, I came into it like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm buying the ticket and taking the ride. You know, like, I, I tried to go in as, Blank as possible. I wouldn't watch trailers. I tried to skip everything. Mm-hmm. I, w- I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I was excited, but I was. I was tempering my expectations because last time I got way too excited. Okay. Yes. Last time we did get way too excited about that movie. I yeah. think Like we were hyped up. <laughs> life was simpler. Not me, life was simpler. Not you. Life, life was because that was fucking three years ago. Yes. Damn. But yeah. no, we, we were young and innocent, Colin. We didn't know what the world had in store for us. Yeah, we didn't. So young and innocent. But we were also. Um, uh, back then when we we broke down the trailer when it first came out, even before the movie, like we took yeah, like twenty minutes did. at the end of an episode, yeah, yeah. and broke down. That's how excited we were. Uh, yeah, I'm about that. Yeah, and I believe I've, one of my words like they might have done it. That yeah. was what I said on that podcast. Maybe <laughs> we they did we it. were young and full of hope, such like a, such a hopeful young. Yeah, hopeful. That's what I said. Hopeful. that was before the world rolled us like Smash Mouth warned us it would. Yeah. You know, like yeah. we we it just did. had no idea what was coming. Uh, oh. This is a great. I mean, like yeah, because I mean, I remember I I had this happen to me twenty years ago with Halloween H2O. You were the harbinger. <laughs> so I've been through all this before. Oh, it's very true. It's very true. So we're saying that Halloween 2018, I think you can go back and listen to our episode that we did on this show, but I'm pretty sure that uh, we hated all over that well, thing. I recommended it. I did too. Yeah. Did okay. I, I, did. I, I like that movie a lot more than you guys like that movie. Yeah, you guys hate that too. movie. I still, I, I'm still on the positive of that movie. Oh, it has okay. major right. flaws. And yeah. major things that bother me, but as a whole, I enjoy that. Yeah, because I've said it before. Say it again. I like the franchise, but I'm not like obsessive about the franchise. So I went into it just like 
no expectations. I'm like, yes, this could be fun. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I was like, yeah, it was kind of fun. Like, Mm -hmm. just met my low expectations so i recommended it same i was yeah. just like yeah okay it was fine. Yeah. i did not Sean and i yeah we yeah, did i did not yeah. recommend it i didn't uh, uh because of that movie my uh expectations for this movie were severely tamped down i'll right. mm. say that i mean Smart. It, even as someone who likes the 2018 <laughs> one i was just like there's no more story so that's right, why my exactly. expectations were low for this too cuz i'm like there isn't enough content for two exactly. more movies i was like yeah. they, oh, yeah. they already repeated some some themes from the from previous movies so i was yeah. like okay they really can't go anywhere so like yeah it was already right. it, it was kind of fun but seriously it's done like yeah. there's nothing this else to do this movie's like in this movie all it does is retread this is <gasps> this the movie is the wheels spinning the, the movie is the, it <laughs> like Oh, wow, this I, movie should have been called Halloween: Revenge of Haddonfield. Okay, but well, but this is this like is that. this, it's a better is, title the, this deserves, is the new angle that they're trying to take in order to open this up, right? Yeah. Obviously, we have seen longtime fans of this, right? Have seen a version of this before in Halloween Four, right? Yes. I mean, there's a little bit of like the town is aware that that Michael Myers is out there and kind of mm-hmm. reacting to him, mm-hmm. but this is basically the filmmaker's way of like opening the scope of the mm-hmm. you know of the movie up. And we're going to actually get the citizenry of Haddonfield involved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This- um, <laughs> Haddonfield's revenge. That's yeah. What, yeah. The citizenry yeah, yeah. of Haddonfield. You know what this feels like? This mob running around this movie. You guys ever watch Lost? No. Yep. no. Okay. You know how there's five main characters and then 25 of the other islanders who also yep. crash from this plane that we never get to know? Yeah, That's yeah, what this mob yeah, feels like. Yeah. It feels like we got the main guys in there and there's just like, I've been a citizen ahead of him for 40 years, but it's just a guy in a group and shit. <laughs> and like, there's the, the key the key figures that you have to recognize. Yes. Okay, then, so there's a lot of fan service going on in this movie. Obviously, we're going to talk about that. We are going to spoil this, like I said, so we're going to go uh, through this a little bit. But um, that's basically the hook of this new movie is to, uh, you know, broaden the scope of it and uh, increase the body count. I think that was the Mm -hmm. two things it seems like out of the gate that David Gordon Green and Danny McGride had, uh, you know, set out for themselves. So um, what did you think? Like, I mean, basically, the movie is going to be picking up uh, where the last one. uh, Oh, you think you think it it picks up where one of them left leaves off. Yeah. Okay, uh, tell me your thoughts on this. I'm curious. I mean, I have some myself, but uh, this I uh, I had this had been spoiled for me. Oh, okay. So, oh, uh, the, that's what, yeah. Gotcha. The, okay. That there was a flashback that oh, we're right. going to have a CGI Loomis. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you know, basically, we're going oh, back to 1978. Yeah. So. The, wow, what a thing to have spoiled for you. Yeah, Ouch, yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's not, that. That's to their nice. credit, that's actually not in any of the trailers or right. anything. Yeah. No, so. it's just yeah. on every uh, uh, header images of certain articles on certain Is that websites. the one you saw, Sean? I mean, I saw it. I knew about the flashback before Oh, you I did? See, I didn't know anything mm-hmm. about this but, either. Yeah. Oh, well, good. Yeah. yeah. See, no. I also went into this one because of my reaction 2018. I didn't care about being, I guess, necessarily spoiled for this one. There's certain, I didn't go looking for anything, yeah. but if it came my way, I was just like, okay, I'll know about it, just yeah. so I can, you know, try and go into this mm-hmm. one with a better this, expectation. See, this is a thing that I thought while I was watching this, right? It's like uh, there are Halloween fans and devotees, right? Devotees yeah. who have like followed this franchise through its, uh, you know, or series. It's a franchise, right? Different directors do it. But mm-hmm. uh, through its massive, uh, massive different uh, versions. And we know every little, you know, detail but the this new movie is, and and uh, the the 2018 one are not made necessarily for fans of the series, right? Oh, this one especially. This is yeah, made for I, someone who's never seen a Halloween movie. They, they, they were like, Ever. or or they've seen the the they have vague recollections of the first one. They know okay, like was, they know shots from the movie. You see, know? I was gonna say I don't I don't know who this is made for because I don't think it's made for fans, and I also don't think it's made for people that haven't seen it because it'd be way too confusing for people that haven't seen any but, of this. But franchise. they ex- over explain it. They, they, they do, they but. Think that you've only seen the first movie they're like yeah, and actually and see this is the thing that pisses me off. i'm going to say this about david gordon green right he was on the <laughs> joe bob briggs show they did an interview <laughs> and on that he said that to, you know it's like well there was hell you know john carpenter's halloween was great and then we've had all these movies that basically sucked right and so now we had Not true. To, to do a better one and i'm like wow you're you it's know a bold statement <laughs> that's a big statement i'm like yeah. as a fan i haven't sat there thinking that all these movies suck no the yeah years, right yeah so this is his position going into this is like nope we're just we're going back you can see the first one we can count on that people see that on halloween night it you know plays on amc or wherever the hell 
and then my movies. And this, I know we talked about this on the 2018 episode, but this is an issue I have with, with this trilogy of movies is that they're telling us don't think about the sequels, but then they constantly are referencing the sequels. Constantly. You yeah. can't Everything. have it both ways. I Everything. know we talked about this before, but we have. Like, it, it's not amusing to me. It's, it makes me f- feel like you think I'm stupid. You know, it, like it does feel it, frustrating. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that just keeps happening. But the but they are not aimed at you. Yeah, I, 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 that's, that's I, very true. This is the yeah. other thing I had to realize. I'm like they they have stopped making these movies for me. Yeah. Right, this is not mm-hmm. for me. And that's a hard day. I'm there sorry, Sean. Which I'm is, sorry, that's a hard realization. Which is which <laughs> if but I'll, but also if they're going to be like this, that's fine with me. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, I prefer they stop making them. Just yeah, don't do it. Yeah, like yeah. I'm fine. But I have I have movies that I like and some that are worse than others and all that shit. So I have everything I need. You could stop making them. You're because you, there's so many choose your own adventures. So for you, like the story's over because I've. Done all the different adventures. I'm done. Let's close this book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. Especially, I haven't watched this movie. Man, they're running. They have, They got nothing left. They got nothing. On fumes. This nothing nothing on at fumes. least. I, you know what? I'm sure there's plenty of interesting ways they could go with this, but they'll, they're not going to do it. But they it. won't. They yeah. Won't. I mean, what are they going to do when the next one ends? They're going to. It's going to be Laurie and Michael showdown. It has to be, right? Oh, but well, that, that still one. makes. I have no investment in No, that. because. Especially because I've seen H2O. Here. Yeah. I've seen H2O. I saw the first one. They had a showdown yeah, there, too. Exactly. And then, so they're just. how? What more can they do in another one? The, uh, Halloween 2018 should have been it. That should have been it. Like, that's it. We're done, but and I think that was the intention when they made that movie. I don't think they set out to make a trilogy, unless it's been confirmed yeah, otherwise. I heard uh, like right off the bat that they were like, "We're buying these rights, Jason the Blumhouse. Yeah. You know, we're buying buying these rights so we can make like a, a new trilogy of well, movies." Clearly, gotcha. didn't have it mapped out very well. Yeah, no. that's what I'm saying. Like, this, this that first thing. movie, yeah. it doesn't feel Star like Wars it. Star Wars bullshit. Like yeah. they they, they, they don't have a pl- they have well, we have an idea, but they're this is they, the Star Wars sequel trilogy of this franchise, right? It, well, I mean, I'm, it is because we're also introducing char- like, any of these characters should have been put in the first one. That flashback should have been in the first one. Mm-hmm. Why we're doing it in the second one. So like, many flat. This movie spends like, I want to say a third of its runtime in the past, like either yeah. in 78 or even on 2018 before the events start happening. Like there is so mm-hmm. much in the past to There's, catch up with where we ended at. Both. It's crazy. Yeah. There is way more Tommy than Lori than I expected. Yeah, why yeah. is this Tommy's <laughs> Why is this, <laughs> why is this Tommy's true. movie? Yeah. Why is this Will Patton's movie? Well, why and it's this? like, it, it seems bogus to bring back everyone else for their original role except Tommy and then cast Anthony Michael Hall. Like, what about that actor, Brian Andrews, that played Tommy? You just said, fuck that guy? I don't know. Like, Did they like, reach out to him? I'm sure I don't they know reached the every, to him. Yeah, why would you turn that down? Like, he a leading role, you know? I mean, but, there are people who don't I mean, he was a kid when he first had. I was gonna this. say, how long has it been since he's acted? Yeah, but star. so is Kyle, and yeah, like you know, she is. Uh, I mean, she's an be, actress. Yeah, maybe the dead for all Housewives. She's on the Real Housewives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've watched so her for eleven got, years. Yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of you know, there's a following for her, I guess. So, that, so, well, speaking of her, so I, th- it's interesting to see my two worlds intersect like this with Halloween Kills, my Housewives, and my love of horror. Because, <laughs> um, so you know, they filmed this a while ago and it got delayed because of COVID. So, not this current season, but the last season on the Housewives, her whole storyline was I'm making Halloween kills and the way she talked around the show you would have thought she was Jamie Lee Curtis for how much <laughs> for how much like that was her whole storyline for the whole season and she kept complaining about how she didn't want to have bangs and they made her have bangs because oh she had God. bangs as a kid this was her whole fucking every time she was on screen she was complaining <laughs> about she's it barely in this and, movie <laughs> but she's she's just that's her personality she's yeah. super thirsty she's yeah. also she's also Paris Hilton's aunt Kathy Hilton's her sister and then oh. her sister is Kim Richards who's in Assault on Precinct 13 oh Okay. And she's the girl that gets murdered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they're a whole family of actors that has a lot of dark backstory. If you ever want to look into it, they have like rich, dark, horrible family shit. Because yeah, in their old Hollywood too, you know. Um, but and then she also claimed that Michael Myers broke her nose, and that's why she needed to get a nose job on that yeah. season. <laughs> in, so in filming this movie, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. what she claims. Yeah. Okay. okay. And um, they did so the the reunion for the Real Housewives aired this week, and they did cross promotion with Halloween Kills. And guys, it was the cringiest thing I've ever. <laughs> so they had it where she was leaving her house to go to the reunion and they scared her by having Michael Myers jump out of the bushes at her house. Oh, and it's like, but there's a camera crew outside. She's right, yeah, and they yeah, but they yeah. played it off as yeah. like, oh, I was so scared. Yeah. It's, it's been so cringy here. to watch the cross promotion of this thing happen. This movie is huge. I mean, that's the yeah. thing. I think, you know, when we look at back at the old Halloween movies, they feel big to us because they were big in 
in our, you know, uh, coming of age or whatever. Yes. But these ones are different. I mean, these are made for, uh, you know, like this mm-hmm. huge audience. You know, you think back at like the box office of those other ones. It was like, yeah, they'd come out and like the horror fans would go see it or the Halloween fans. Mm-hmm. But like these are made for, you know just the mass audience. Yeah. And so they've got like this huge, big, uh, you know, pressure on them, uh, tie in. This is the first one. I'm like the ghost tie in song at the end. And all this is like, you know, it's obviously, no venom. They, <laughs> venom. Um, okay. That so this been great. Movie, if there does, was an M&M song to the, oh, right. On. Yeah. I, mean, I would have appreciated that. Yeah, but that ghost actually. is more appropriate. Cause you're I, creepy. Well, no, okay. You know what? I, I don't like ghost. resurrection. I don't. I think Ghost is like they dress all cool and their music is like whiny and boring. It doesn't match their the, appearance yeah, at all. The, the look of Ghost does not match with their. <laughs> exactly, I hate, I hate that. Um, so there is like a lengthy um, flashback to 1978 mm-hmm. that starts this movie because obviously this movie is retconning the past. It's taking out Halloween two from ever existing. So the question is, oh, it does it though. Uh, well, there are <laughs> there are flashback scenes from this movie. To Halloween 2, which we were like, wait, what? There's a shot from Halloween 2 you got yeah, in there. They thought That's, we wouldn't notice. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah, we'll sneak this by them. Yeah. I, th- I, I I know what their intention was. I mean, what the only other reason their intention could be. They just wanted to show Brackett yeah. with his daughter. Yeah. yeah. So we, because that aftermath probably would have happened anyway. Mm-hmm. Two doesn't exist, but him seeing his daughter on a stretcher or any of that probably would have yeah. happened. Yeah. So. But for them to say... This isn't canon, right, and then right. use a scene is just <laughs> like that. See, that kind of stuff makes me think they think I'm stupid. Yeah, I know. you know, yeah, and that I, makes I have me the mad. Same reaction. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. Like, that's from Halloween too, which yeah. doesn't exist. But okay, yeah. I get it for the universe that they're creating. So the flashback shows because the question, I guess, is if uh, if you're just going off of Halloween, well, then well, what happened when Michael Myers just stood up at the end or he disappeared off mm-hmm. the lawn? Mm-hmm. And so this movie actually shows the capture of he, Michael he, Myers. He got a brand new mask and suit and started walking the alleyways. He, yeah, because he looks like yeah. uh, he looks brand spanking. Yeah, he, yeah. Well, he looks He's like the Halloween too, uh, <laughs> yeah. Michael Myers. And the, these neighborhoods did not feel like Haddonfield to me. I no. was like, this is not the the neighborhoods I know. Like, you know, I think it. It looked like when he's wandering around the alleys in part two, like at the very beginning. Oh, okay, yeah, I can that's see that. That's what it looked yeah. like to me. The movie we're not supposed to think about. Right. You know, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it looked exactly like yeah. I'm like, well, I was more thinking the like, the movie like, like when, I was thinking that street corner where Lonnie got bullied. I was like, this doesn't that look. Doesn't, no, that right. did not. That, that area, not I was like, the, I don't know where the fuck this is, but it's not, no, not the head field I know. No, just the back alley. So yeah. Like, Ooh, all right. Yeah. It was like they got that. It even felt a little forish. Mm-hmm. That's the highest praise I'm going to give. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, I didn't, you know, I was going into this movie going like, I don't really give a fuck here. I've had my Halloween, right? <laughs> right. And I did uh, rewatch 2018 this week, you know. And, and that was a hate pre-gaming. watch, right? That was a hate watch. How, but now after watching this, not so bad, right? <laughs> well, I mean, we'll get to that. We got to leave something. To, that's a, great way, to, the, that's a yeah. great way to handle your franchise. <laughs> the next one, well, the previous shit didn't look so bad. Um, I'll say that this one, by expansion, made some of the problems I had with the first one. Uh, well, it put we'll a magnifying there. glass on them, didn't yeah, but that, it? Like, it also did that. Well, yeah, yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah, you can't have your cake and eat it too. It is like well, and this, this move is the, that is the thing. trilogy. Have have your cake, eat it too. Is yeah. the sequel? Yeah. Colin's, well, I thought Colin's like, biggest complaint about this is uh, Chekhov's radio tower that was not, uh, that was not. Which, that's a Halloween four See, thing too. Halloween uh, ends. For the appearance uh, of the radio tower. Yeah. Okay. I actually <laughs> did not notice this radio tower. I did not I see didn't it once. Either. I had I no totally idea what did. you were talking about. I, I noticed it after Colin said something, but I was not well, I was logging like, it. I was thinking the same thing Colin was. I'm like, okay, how is this going to come into play? Because I've seen it yeah, a lot. <laughs> because we're establishing Haddonfield. You're getting a look at Haddonfield that you know, you've only seen Haddonfield in the other movies really from street view. Mm-hmm. And this kind of gives you like a panoramic mm-hmm. view. And you can, there's, there's, even though we're in Illinois, uh, there's hills and valleys and a big, uh, you know, a radio tower. It's like, okay, there's a K-H-A-D or hey, whatever. Some parts there. of Illinois get very Sorry, hilly. W- W-H-A-D. Down, yeah. down, uh, towards, side are we on, yeah. down towards Galena and Savannah stuff. That's yeah, very know, hilly yeah. down there. Yeah. Some areas. So uh, Jim Cummings far from the Wolf of Snow Hollow and Thunder Road appears. In this, this was a pleasant <laughs> surprise, honestly. I, I, I was into I was like. I was like, okay, they, I was like, they, my first thought was they got someone good. Like they, they stepped up their game from casting the last movie. I mean, they got budget. I mean, they, they do. But uh, also like, I mean, he just switched cop 
jackets yeah. and walked into this movie, basically. <laughs> he walked off the wolf follow set. Assuming. He's a cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's, he's good at it. I mean, he's good at it. <laughs> he's so like good him. at it. I'm just, uh, I'm sorry, Jim, that you had to be in this movie. Yeah. He's oh. just charming and watchable and uh, really empathetic. I find him very easy to empathize with, you know, and I don't know. Well, I this, don't. I don't like where it goes with him. <laughs> right, because uh, he's he's killed in a scene. Th- so this basically this opening scene is setting up the backstory of Deputy Hawkins. This, this is, is the his character movie, yes. played by uh, Will. Um, oh crap! What's Will Patton? Will Patton, in who, the first if you movie, remember, was stabbed viciously in the throat by yeah. Doctor Satarian, right? Sartain, well, Sartain, and mm-hmm. left for dead. But yes. it turns out he's not dead. No, uh, turns out he was found minutes later. Mm-hmm. Yep. And rescued. That's the very first thing that we see in this movie. So basically we're setting up something here, uh, you know, a moment in this guy's past where he confronted Michael Myers in the first movie, 2018. (laughs) Mm -hmm. They say that he was there the night that Michael was arrested. Mm -hmm. And so we see this scene play out where he accidentally shoots and kills his partner, Jim Cummings, in trying to apprehend Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is setting up uh, a backstory and uh, a psychology for a main character that's going to pay off at some point later in the movie. We spend movie. so much time on this. But at the, like, and when we were, oh, when it started with the flashback, I was like, I don't like this. I don't like this. Yep. But now after seeing the whole movie, I think that was my favorite part of the entire movie. I think it was my was favorite part. I, mean, I like movie. it. Yeah. 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 But, it, but is it because it's pressing nostalgia buttons? Well, absolutely. And it's Jim oh, Cummings. That and the nostalgia. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Because like when I saw the CGI Donald Pleasance, I was like, oh. Like I got excited. I was it's like, the best looking I, one they've got. I will take it looks that. Pretty good. It's better than sounds, nothing. Sounds yeah, absolutely horrible. The, yeah, <laughs> looks great. Yeah, sounds. It's the same Did he voice. Kill again? Yeah, yeah, the same voice no! they got for 2018. I liked the, like the scene, even though it felt surreal and it felt like a video game cutscene. Like actually, this movie feels like a video game, and the whole first half is the cutscene you have to watch that lays the backstory mm. that you can't skip, and you're just like, mm-hmm. God, can I? He's been smashing that button hoping to skip, but. But when the camera pans down the stairway of the Myers house, comes out the front door and Loomis is standing on the porch and Michael's in front of him and all the cops have their guns drawn on them. Like that was the only time I felt something watching this movie. And I, yeah. I was like, it was effective for me. That shot was very effective yeah, for me. They're but... restaging that frozen in, in time moment where yeah. Michael comes out in the first one, you know, as mm-hmm. a kid. They're trying to restage that yeah. now. And it, yeah. It was effective for me. But... I know. I, I kind of liked it. I was yeah. like, Meh, all right. That's, uh, mm-hmm. But I, I realized yeah. that the only reason I was liking it was because it was like, I'm leaning into that fucking nostalgia right? yeah. in yeah. your brain. Because, yeah. yeah. Even I'm interested because I'm like, oh, they're, they're back on that night. And yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it, some people may look at that as like, no, don't. Don't touch i'm like yeah, go mess with it a little bit yeah. go explore because it's kind of cool because then you like, wonder should the whole movie have just have been set 1978 maybe like i honestly sequel, i like. think i like, <laughs> i think i would recommend that movie on nostalgia pl- pleasure alone yeah, I think, yeah like, because michael myers looks like michael myers and I, you know, I've, got, like, oh. I've got loomis like my comfort <laughs> yeah. blanket in this franchise yeah, you know as as loomis is it's just an over-the-shoulder shot of him talking every single time yeah. 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 give me that movie yeah. Yeah. or vo- like <laughs> Well, yeah, work on the voice. I was gonna say voiceover. You could do voiceover over scenes, but that voice needs some work. That so yeah, they yeah. don't get the the quite high no, pitch. I don't know who the actor was, but it is the same guy that did it in twenty eighteen. Uh, so okay, so he has then to die. Then he has we, to die. <laughs> <laughs> we go into uh, then we pick up where we left off, and this has been revealed in all the trailers. Uh, Michael Myers escapes in the burning house by m- murdering the entire mm. fire brigade. I want to say though, when we were in the Myers house, sh- I love that Sean and I were like. They got to check all these boxes oh, for yeah. continuity. Where's the dead dog? <laughs> well, oh, the, yeah. the pipe through the window. Uh, you yep, noticed yep, that first. That the and then I was said, there. there better be a dead dog. And then next thing, Jim Cummings says, hey, there's a dead dog in here. So I'm like, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. They did pretty good. Yeah, that was I did. Yeah, I did mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> So we move, uh, well, then we go through an obligatory Halloween uh, title sequence, which was like, yeah, okay, but Lots this is pretty late in the uh, in the game. Oh, I was like, what, yeah. 15 20 minutes? minutes in or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Because yeah. you have three three starts yeah. before you get there. Okay. So then the movie itself actually kicks up. Uh, Lori has been uh, taken with her daughter and granddaughter to the hospital again. Mm. Yep. Well, I'm sorry, the first time. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Halloween 2 didn't happen. Yep. And uh, then she saw Yeah, don't think about Halloween 2. Well, we spend all this time in a hospital. In a hospital. Don't, don't think about it. Yeah. Memorial. So yeah. then basically, uh, I guess that brings me to the question of uh, the character of Laurie Strode and her relevance to this movie. Sidelined entirely. Yep. None. Uh, it, uh, Judy Greer literally says it's not about you to her face. Yeah. 
Judy and that, Greer, the voice of reason. Yeah, I mean, Judy Greer, I'm glad she got more to do in this movie compared to the last one. But I can't believe a character in a movie is like being so blunt as to be like, you don't matter to the story. Yeah, because um, <laughs> yeah. there's there's also a scene where um, Judy Greer is saying like, or no, was it uh, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis was like, he's coming here to the hospital, it's you know, after me, he's, yeah. he's stalking her, mm-hmm. and because of, and go back and listen to our last episode if you want to hear a whole diatribe about this <laughs> uh, by removing. The sister connection, there is no... Look, Michael Myers doesn't even know who the fuck she is. Sartain literally drives <laughs> Michael to her. Literally, in a car, drives him mm-hmm. to her. Yeah, we have to explain that A, a point that was movie. so muddy because of that. It is literally, they're like, we can... Uh, because they have to... <laughs> they don't have to. They're interviewing all the victims like it's, mm-hmm. you know, after everything has happened. And they're all giving their version of the story and everything. And, and they try so hard to explain. It's like, no. He brought them together. He drove her there. There yeah. is no connection. Mm-hmm. A lot of heavy back. He wasn't coming for you, Lori. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The doctor <laughs> literally drove him to your doorstep. When yeah. the whole first movie was literally about he is coming for me and I'll be ready and I'm going to kill him because I know he's coming for me. That yeah. was the plot of the whole it's first a whole 2018. It's fundamental problem with these new movies. Like It doesn't make any goddamn sense. You have a hero who fights the villain, right? You have good versus evil, but they have... No, like, there's no conflict there because Mm -hmm. he's the new reason for Michael Myers to exist is that he just wanders around killing people. Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, I guess they they do try to expand on that at some point. Laurie seems to have this, and this is also in a trailer, uh, epiphany that every time Michael Myers kills someone, he levels up. <laughs> he he he, he <laughs> transcends into something more, and you're like, "What in the fuck are you talking about?" That's no more explanation. That's literally it. And, yeah. that, and that was whole, part of a whole like uh, uh, they're being very what you call it at the end of this movie, or while well, everything's happening. Um, I lost the word. Uh, <sighs> nope. <laughs> nope uh, uh, nope keep going I mean but that's the thing if you go back and look at the original Halloween movie the motivation for Michael Myers is like really fucking clear right mm-hmm. he was sexually attracted to his sister mm-hmm. he killed his sister years later he escapes from a mental institution he's sexually attracted to Annie and he kills her and makes her his sister. He's just killing the sister over and over again. And he follows Lori because she came to his house. And so he follows mm-hmm. her around all day until he can recreate the murder of his sister. But we've removed all that now. Now he just is a shark on land that wanders around and kills yeah. people. He's always what Buster Rhymes wanted him to be. He loves yeah. shark. killing people. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything about the fucking guy. <laughs> I think that one of my biggest issues with this movie is like... Actually, my issues with this movie don't even really have to do with Michael Myers at all. It's everybody else around him in this movie is the problem. But yes. the in the first one, it kind of felt like the town like had very little memory of the Michael Myers incident. This is what I want them to get straight. And is this, he haunting this town or not? Or does nobody right. remember this? But it, it was in this one, they all they right. all have a personal connection to it, and yeah, they're like all very ready to go for fight everybody. for their town. Even the people who are like 27 years old, and yeah. it, you know, they've lived in Haddonfield for uh, five years. Yeah, Even they're just passionate about killing Michael. In that first one, everyone had to like justify her craziness. Everyone was acting, everyone thought Lori was the crazy one and now they're all on her side in this one. Like, it, and they act like they've always been like, we've been waiting for this day. And it's like, yeah. have you? Because in the first one, you had to tell everyone the backstory. Like, remember there was that scene of Allison walking with her classmates and yeah. they were like, oh, wasn't that, you know, her brother? Her brother? Oh, know, no, that was a rumor was somebody made up. Yeah. What, makes yeah. it, like, what makes it hilarious was that it's written by the same people. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's like yeah. they didn't see their <laughs> first yeah. movie. At least with the Star Wars movies, it's different people it's different making people, them, so it makes the sense. Same goddamn people. Yeah. It's like they totally forgot their first movie. I, I'm, I'm going to choose to believe they had one Google Doc with the timeline and their PC crashed and they were like, well, <laughs> <laughs> guess we don't have that anymore. So, uh, uh, well, it's like, it's like <laughs> yeah, it's I, like being high and you have that great idea and then you can't remember that great idea. Yeah. It's like, oh, fuck, we have this going. Yeah. Something's going to happen <laughs> yeah. here. I guess this is the thing like this movie going into it. I'm like, I'm trying to be as open minded as possible. The first 20 minutes, I guess I did not find offensive. Right. They were setting up. Like the so you are introduced to Anthony Michael Hall playing Tommy Doyle, right? Mm-hmm. The babysitter charge from the first one. Uh, Lindsay Wa- 
Wallace, right? Was Kyle Richards, mm-hmm. and somehow they pal around with Marion Chambers, Nancy Stevens, yeah, which is the nurse, the mm-hmm. doctor, Lumen. And I'm like, how do these two fucking people know? I like, think they all, all chummy. They all found each other because this is the thing they it was have a in Michael common. Myers it's like a support group. group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So every and Halloween uh, they go out. Colin, to a bar. they're the Haddonfield Losers Club. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. There you go. And they hang out and reiterate to everyone like the boogeyman's out there and whatever. Then they it's like ev- Laurie Strode in the Haddonfield Three. Yeah, <laughs> and we slowly find out that yes, Michael Myers has a return to Haddonfield. The news of the previous uh, movies events is coming out, and so Anthony Michael Hall is able to whip the uh, citizenry into like a frenzy because I guess because all the fire uh, fighters were killed, oh, yeah. uh, we don't have any cops. And so basically, we have to have all the citizens come together. We're going to hunt this fucker down. We're going to kill him. Evil dies tonight. Evil, Evil dies, dies tonight. tonight. Evil, Evil dies, dies tonight. tonight. There's something wrong with all of you. I will not chant this anymore. <laughs> but, okay, but we're, <laughs> First, no, <laughs> we're still saying it less than they did in this movie, I was going to say, I, I kind of thought about just like interrupting everyone every 10 minutes saying Evil dies tonight yeah, for this start. entire episode. Oh, uh, because the way, it's basically the same thing that Holly, happened Holly, you can movie. start, but you won't be able to catch them on numbers. No. You're, you're too late. Because they slip it in yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, the Mary Chambers patron? was like, uh, "Evil dies tonight." Yeah, yeah I'll take yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Like it was slipped in before yeah. they all went outside. It's yeah. just like, Whoa! It's seriously like, "May the force be with you." Yeah, yeah. like if we could strike Play a drinking evil game from yeah. every horror movie f- for at least like mm-hmm. the next ten years, mm-hmm. I think we'd be fine. We need yeah. to bring yeah. back the word "evil." Yeah, I think we need to rein it in a little. Well, yeah. okay, so I, I guess. Oh, sorry. I, was like, I feel like on an episode not too long ago, I don't remember which one, but I feel like it may have made mention that we need to bring back movies with angry mobs. I disagree now. So you take it back. <laughs> I take it all back. Yeah, we well, do not need to play the same way no, in modern the day. Mob I don't want to see angry. I don't want to see angry mobs anymore. I don't want to see it anymore. No. I don't see it anymore. It it's okay. it's, well, it's kind of just cringy, isn't it? Like a, it's embarrassing. I mean, they made it cringy. Well, they 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 commit the cardinal sin that no one accidentally kills uh, Ted Hollister, right? Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, you have to at least do, but they didn't. No, uh, they even got out of that one, which we'll get to that, I guess. Okay, <laughs> so wh- I guess the, if you're saying from, uh, from okay, from the perspective of you didn't like the movie because there's an angry mob, what, and that is what the movie this is where that's we're what the going. About. Oh, that is this not, is what it's that's about. That's not why I didn't like the movie, but it doesn't help. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. not at all. Because, why? Are we starting wrap ups? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, I mean, like, okay, the, the function of the mob is to basically, we're going to split uh, because they several get pockets everybody. of everybody. Yeah, they yeah. get the entire everybody. Everyone. There's too many people in this Haddonfield, right? This way, t- this feels like way too, too many people. Too many people in this hospital. Yeah. I don't know. It, it feels I, I, too I big. I can't tell if word is spreading too fast or not fast enough. I can't yeah. tell in this movie. But they're but, acting like it's a fucking zombie outbreak, and they're gonna. It's like contagious. They're acting like, like, oh, if I if I stay outside, Michael's gonna like find me. Is uh, how they're all acting. It's well, I was wild. trying to find out like, okay, so what's the point of this? What are where are we going with like the angry right. mob or the yes. angry mob? I mean, and, and so well, I guess maybe we will have to get to the end of it in order to talk yeah. about the angry mm-hmm. mob. So maybe we'll have to come back. I think we're no, I think we're just jumping all over the place yeah. on this one. I think we so have did to. the movie. Okay, yeah. so the angry mob there seems to be two big scenes involving the angry mob because most of it is uh characters from you know are in groups searching Haddonfield for uh Michael Myers. Right. They've taken it upon themselves to go hunt him down and murder him. Characters yeah, while he's sayings. murdering he's murdering people that you know off in the sidelines. We're just introduced to characters uh you know flying drones around their yeah. house. Have you guys ever wanted to... and then I did like them. Have you ever said I want to see old people flying drones in my house? Again movie? also one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> So because long, so long. That's you because they're forever. funny. Yeah. I like the dude and I like her for those yeah, I didn't for those it. thirty seconds. They just, were awesome. It was the the non sequitur of it though. We're literally watching Lori Strode in surgery, which we saw Rob Zombie do at the very beginning of his Halloween two. We literally saw Lori Strode in surgery no, you after seen the that, attack. Yeah. You, you don't oh, know anything about, about those. Yeah. yeah. Um, you so, were born yesterday. We, Do you think regular people are like, didn't we see this before? No. This feels familiar. Yeah. No. I, but this is the like, first one they ever saw. That's a very serious, <laughs> intense scene that's supposed to like ick you out and then make you feel bad for her. Cut from that. Old people we don't know flying drones. That editing choice was wild. Well, I mean, you know, previous Halloween movies, it's the thing with a slasher film. You have to invent, uh, you know, scenarios 
that our killer can wander into. So you introduce a character and then you kill them off five minutes later. But yep. usually these scenes, I guess, in order to be considered uh, successful, right, is like, what are they delivering to the audience? They're either delivering, I think, one of two things, and that's either a suspense and scares or B, uh, a really awesome sleight of hand makeup gore effect. Mm-hmm. So yes. which which did these in this movie, uh, which were they shooting for? I mean, I, they were definitely going for. What was the first option? Uh, suspense? Uh-huh, or no. Gore? No, 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 no. I didn't find this movie. There's no suspense all, in this yeah. movie. Wait, you're yeah. saying that a Halloween movie wasn't scary at all? At that is correct, all. Colin. <laughs> at all. Not a modicum. But there were a couple decent gore scenes. Yeah. Gore? Yeah, gore yeah. good. Okay, so, well, we'll talk about the Rest gore in then. Peace, but Big John. Um, I mean, is 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 there a requirement of a horror movie that <laughs> you're going to, that it's going to be a, a scary movie, right? I yeah. mean, is that? Well, yeah. I don't but think that's, that's a requirement that's anymore. Like, the, that's so subjective, though. Like, you, like, you know, if you're desensitized, is it the movie's fault that you're desensitized? Right. You know, like. Do you think that you're well, saying that we're scale. desensitized to it? And it might be scary to the, yeah. the average 14 year old or Probably. whatever is seeing this movie. Maybe. They also may have just decided to, uh, I mean, we're 12. This is the 12th movie in the series. They're yeah. just like, we can't be scary anymore. We're just going to go for the deaths. See, but I think you can. I think it's I think you can too. director actually oh, yeah. can build suspense. And I think David Gordon Green doesn't know shit about. Now, John Carpenter was a student of Alfred Hitchcock, obviously. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like David Gordon Green. Is a comedy director, or yeah. if if and if nothing else, maybe he can do drama, like because he's done a few movies. In well, that not vein. based on what I'm seeing here in his not, no, no, well, that's, not in yeah. this. Well, yeah, like <laughs> which is did he write the other movies that I don't know? Yeah, probably don't know. that's probably it. Yeah, so he's not a suspense director. And for comparison's sake, this week I also watched Rob Zombie's Halloween, and the way that Rob Zombie shoots Michael Myers is this imposing, intimidating presence. Mm-hmm. And David Gordon Green doesn't do that at all. Michael mm-hmm. Myers is just a dude while walking yeah, around. Yeah. He's like, here's your iconic centerpiece. But it's like, I don't feel like I'm not scared of him. He's not no. imposing. Right. He's That's just like, a put dude. every light on him. Right. Yeah. So, you know, as part of the Losers Club, we have Lonnie. Lonnie, get your ass away from there, Lonnie. Mm-hmm. Who, like, I was like, I was like, wow, we're reaching real deep here. Like, we're, yeah, we're going. We're like, who's on the bed? One scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone yeah. takes some swings. Nostalgia yeah. button. Although I do like Barely, Robert, though, because Robert you Lawrence really got to remember that kid. And you remember that kid because you remember Loomis' yeah, line. Yeah. Really yeah. Right. Well, you yeah. remember that kid also because they put the fucking kid back in the movie just so he can have a uh, And this is where my question with Michael. comes okay. up. Why does Michael not kill him? Uh, he walks up to him, stares at him laying on the ground, and does he saw not the cops kill him. coming. But yeah, like in the, all, in the yeah, first movie, does Michael that. in the original Halloween does Michael come into contact with anybody he doesn't kill? Yes. Yeah. Come the first kid. Yeah, yeah Tommy. Yeah. Doyle. Okay. Well, Tommy Doyle doesn't kill the kid. He grabs at the school. He doesn't kill him. Oh, was yep. that Lonnie? Maybe no. not. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah, no, he comes in contact with people okay. that he doesn't kill because he's single minded. He's trying to recreate the murder of his sister. Right. And if you want, uh, that. yeah. In this it's, one, it, yeah. he's Jason. I mean, basically, yeah. and even Jason has a better, uh, you know, reason for this, you know, because- Get this, the fuck out of my camp. Yeah, get it the fuck <laughs> out like, of my- But yeah, head, I head guess, field, yeah. I don't know. I guess it just felt very weird that on Halloween, he just killed a fuck ton of people. He comes across a kid laying on the sidewalk and this one he lets go. Right. It mm. it felt so shoehorned. Yeah. Like, it's like, just like, and then this happens mm-hmm. because you need it for the plot or whatever. Right. Um, yeah. The other thing that David Gordon Green couldn't answer, this was kind of an implied question on the Joe Bob show, but he's like, well, if he's not going after Lori, he does keep going back to Haddonfield. And David Gordon Green's like, yeah, he's like a shark. He just kind of like, you know, feels like he has to go there. But then that begs the question. What? Why? If he could just, just kill anybody anywhere, like, right. why does he have to come back to his hometown? What is his motivation? What does he think? What is he trying to, uh, like, we do not fucking know what this is. Well, I mean, they say in this movie, he just wants to go home. I mean, that's, Okay, there that's you go. All right, fine. <laughs> Evil, he just wants to go back to his house. I think the tagline of resurrection, evil finds its way home. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. So uh, he's, he's just he kills constantly and he trying to tear down that fucking house. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah. He's going to show you, he's going to be like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. What are they doing in Philly? And he's going to go over there and kill them for a while. Yeah. I don't know. Or do whatever he does in the off season, you know? Right. Whatever he does in those other 364 days a year, you know? He just sits and stares and... Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so, okay. So, the gore 
in this movie is uh, significantly amped up over the last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, some of it is like fairly brutally gory, but mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. Personally, my own reaction to these things is nothing's like a Tom Savini makeup effect where you're like, Jesus. Mm-hmm. There, right. I guess there was one here where he plucks a guy's eyes eyeballs out. That was, yeah, they like squish they out. They do. It's That's yeah. pretty gross. Yeah. He, he gets like knuckle deep into his eyes. He side. does, yeah. and they gross. squirt out like yeah. they're still connected to his whatever. And yeah. Like, that's pretty gross. Yeah, that like was that. gross, and that actually provoked a reaction. I think even while we were watching, yeah. the rest of them are all like CGI pokes in the eye or mm. pokes in the neck. Or, yeah, you yeah. know, it's like, man, okay, I get it. Yeah, it's a brutal kill. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Um, Eyeballs was like, oh, he's still going. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Michael Myers is, is just uh, because I think uh, Lonnie, uh, that's Robert Longstreet, who mm-hmm. you've probably seen in the Mike Flanagan. Uh, shows uh, Midnight mm-hmm. Mass and uh, was he in Haunting of Bly Manor? Uh, he was in Haunting of Hill House. He was in Hill House. Was he in Bly Manor? He's a standout uh, like actor, but he yeah. showed up in this and I I liked him in this. And yeah. then I like um, him. He's, he's a good actor. He's like acting, like when yeah. he's got the gun and they're in the park and he's like yeah. crying. He's, yeah, a, he's yeah. a great he's actor. A actor. He's, I love he's that. He's reacting yeah. how you should be in this situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, speaking of nostalgia, so I, sorry, I love his his um, monologue in the basement in Hill House. Oh yeah, it's great. Oh my god, that's one of the best yeah, things no, I've ever seen like, on TV. That, they put that on your reel. You know, it was incredible. <laughs> that monologue is spectacular. Mike sorry. Flanagan with monologues, you don't say, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's shocking. Where is he? Yeah. We but he, he's a good writer. Movie? Yeah, right. He's a great Somebody, writer. Yeah. But um, Jesus, like he needs to dial it back a little bit. Same with the cat murder. <laughs> Cut back on the monologues and the cat murder. I agree dude. with the cat yeah. murder, but I eat the dialogue up. I love it. Well, the other. The other, See, I uh, eat the cat murder. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do, Sean. You bring all the It's this, an accident. I swear to God. <laughs> it's not on purpose. I love cats. Well, the other nostalgia uh, pick that we have in this movie, I think the last one, is that we bring in uh, Charles Cyphers to reprise the role. <laughs> reprise God. the role of <laughs> Sheriff Garris. He's not sheriff anymore. Now he's a security guard at he's Haddonfield old. Memorial. This scene where they introduced the him, name tag, I thought it was hilarious because they show him and then they have to pan in on the name tag because they're like, I don't know if the audience yeah. is going to recognize this. They couldn't guy. just have someone say his name. They can be like, hey, Sheriff Brackett, what's up? They couldn't yeah. have that. Or they're just like, oh, Bra- Michael, huh? Yeah. Brackets here. Something. Yeah, yeah. There's so many easier ways to do this. Yes. I don't want to yell on this stuff. Yeah. That's right. He's the guy who <laughs> lost his daughter to Michael Myers, one of the few victims right. here first time around, but he's not really given a whole lot to do. Uh, Maybe he's an old man, Colin. Yeah, like, he is. And, well, and... Like, uh, but I'm glad they brought him back because that was a big complaint I had on our Halloween 2018 episode that they invented this Hawkins character when you had Sheriff Brackett right there. He's yeah. not in 2018 at all. And then it turns out that, hey, he's still alive and acting and you could have had yeah. him in the original movie. I met this him at a convention is- not that long ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it feels like there's a couple things we got to tick off before we get to the end of this uh, I'm podcast. But off. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we got to deal with the mob and where the mob mm, story goes. Right, there's right, two, right. Se- two big. Colin, sequences. he's like an apex predator. Oh my god, <laughs> the Jesus dialogue in this movie. Christ. That's, a, that's an actual line in this movie. The actual lines in this movie are astounding. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna oh, I'm oh sorry, malignant. God. I'm sorry for what I said about your dialogue. Malignant was <laughs> yeah. sick. Was brilliant yeah. in comparison. Right. I am going to totally 100% agree with all your sentiments. <laughs> yeah. I think that the writing on this movie is appallingly yes, bad. It's and bad. It feels like a fan film. But how do we describe this to people who are like, I didn't think there was anything wrong. They're like, no, you're wrong, sir. Or Take a shot every time they say evil dies tonight, you'll be half under, you'll be under the table in a half this, hour. This movie is just solid possible taglines yeah the it, whole movie it feels like they're like okay we're gonna shoot you saying these five taglines and then we'll pick the best one and use it and but they left them all, all in them, yeah. yeah there's a lot of scenes where people explain to you exactly like i mean uh you know you were here 40 years ago and now like you know i mean like the, how many times i heard 40 years yeah. uh the, you know the, because the, they have to explain who they are what they're doing and what their motivation yeah. is like jesus christ like for we everyone. don't none of this we have to sit there and figure out for ourselves they're going to explain every single goddamn yeah. thing and that becomes the only dialogue that these characters have yeah. is explaining yeah. what i'm doing right now or that- what you're thinking because, and I yeah. sympathize because of what you're, you know, it's like the people that made fuck. this movie think their audience is really stupid. Mm-hmm. Is it that or, uh, well, I mean, that's entirely possible, right? Yeah. They just don't think, or they think this is how you write a movie. It's like, this is not, these 
Okay, you're so, not so, the people, so then the people who made the movie are entirely stupid. Yeah. I think <laughs> that's what it is. I think Either they're way. terrible writers. But because the I first think, one didn't have any of this, right? Like no, it wasn't it, this ham fisted though. It, yeah, it, on this rewatch, I was, I was like. You know, Sartain. So what's Sartain? Sartain. No, like, it's still bad. Yeah, he's explaining. You know, like I wanted to see Michael Myers out in the wild. It's like that right there is something that we should know about him. Right. That he doesn't have to fucking tell you yeah. right to your face. And this movie is all that. It's. I all guess bad. that's that's my thing. The frequency is dialed up in this movie yeah, of that like, kind of dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is yeah. Like, often. This is the problem that you have with uh, non-premium television series, right? Mm. Characters talk like this. Yeah. In, yes. An average episode of CSI. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, not good like, enough uh, to be on HBO. Eh? You're writing for, I'm sorry, uh, you know, uh, Hollywood writers. I know it pays the bills and all that, but like. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I take it as a job. It, yeah, it's yeah. like Mad Libs at this point, and you know? Right, if, if, especially if like, wait, all I have to do is write like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit, Maybe. I can do that in my sleep. Yeah. I know. I think a lot of people could do it, but it's hard to write a, a character where you actually know why they're thinking and what they're doing. And I think like this is, you know, if you know a character is saying one thing but means something else or is thinking something else, that's good writing. Mm -hmm. This one. One, it's all on the surface. This mm -hmm. is what I'm doing. No subtext. No all subtext just text. At all. Yeah. Um, okay. So the mob, mm. right, uh, ends up uh, th because there's Michael Myers got loose, and so did this other uh, inmate of Smith's Grove's uh, sanitarium. Yeah. Because remember the bus crash, and there yep. were just inmates walking everywhere. So this becomes like a huge fucking deal because the mob ends up tracking this guy down. He's still wearing his hospital scrubs, so they think he's Michael Myers. No one's ever seen Michael Myers. Which, right? like, they know the bus crash. They know. A bunch of people were on the bus, right? I don't think they know that. This is, this is why. No, it is on television. They show. They watch, they oh, they watch they a news clip and yeah. Michael Myers picture. Yeah. The old man, bald Michael Myers. We it's blurred out, but yeah. I mean, they show the two of them. You see the don't TV. Worry, we see the you see later. the news channel talk about it. Yeah. And then this culminates in a scene in a hospital, which is almost like hilariously ridiculous and how overblown it is, where the entire official dumb, the cops can't do anything, and all it's the like a zombie like, outbreak. Do people, doctors, yeah. Not just regular people, doctors. People yeah. who've gone to medical school, school for yep. eight years have gone nuts and are just bashing down windows right. and, and right. chasing them. Flooding this staircases and all and screaming into the cameras they run chanting, by. Evil dies tonight. Yes. Evil dies tonight. Okay, fine. No, I'm we're not doing it again. So we to so the two people are like, why are we chanting this? I'll just go along. Yeah. They seem crazy. Like yeah. the, the chief, the chief of police is doing it. Like they're all doing it, right? Yeah. No, he's it, he wasn't. He was the only one. He was fighting. He we, said, "I am the law." Yeah, yeah, that was that it. was another line. And he literally, literally just, like, "I am the law." In the camera. Yeah. But after this poor unfortunate soul dives out a fucking window to get away from the mob, someone the, the that we don't know officer, that we're supposed to feel bad for. Exactly. Yeah. The police, but the police chief is seen sitting. Well, he takes his cowboy hat off and he mm -hmm. sits there in slow motion, like actually feeling that. Oh my god, we are the real monsters after all. You know? Yep. There you go. That's that's what they were oh, heading for. And okay. then... <laughs> we we, uh, we so innocently great. killed one man, but Michael Myers killed, like, I don't know what, two dozen at this point, but... Yeah. But no, we are the monsters. And this whole thing about like mob <laughs> mentality and how like even good people were told off in Laurie Strode, these are good people. And, you know, like obviously mm. they're, they're spurred up by hate and fear of Michael Myers and this thing that he's done and, and twisted their town and they killed this guy. Okay, but now we got to go get Michael Myers. So no, we forget about yeah, all that is, and we move this, forward. No, this is not the time and place for the shit. No. <laughs> no, because we just keep going. No. And it's like, okay, we're not going to. That was just like it's lip like, service. That, like, and now we bullshit move. Bullshit sentimental right. I I music. Oh, yeah. How God. can I make it better? Get the mob back together again. Yeah, yeah. then they get the mob is, back together again. <laughs> I know I fucked up with the mob, but I got a mob. Yeah. So the mob eventually does confront Michael Myers because uh, this is the thing. Like he does go back to his house. His house mm -hmm. is now occupied by a gay couple who have really nicely redecorated. It's it gorgeous. looks good. It's, it's beautiful. gorgeous. <laughs> I would like we were discussing. Uh, the paint's a little dark all over the house because they went a with a dark, deep yeah. one, with a dark green, yeah. dark green. Um, but it does look very nice. It's They're gorgeous. Done well for yeah. themselves. Unfortunately, like one the of the uh, couple is played by Michael McDonald, who you, some of you may know from Mad TV, but others will remember from Austin Powers, where he meets an ending in this. Movie they reference that, is, that right? That is a reference, same, right? It's the same like, death. It's this, Holly pointed out, it's the same death. It's yeah. the exact no. same death. Yeah, it's yeah. the same. He says, you came home. And then we get a cutaway, of, like of a close-up on his face, yeah. like eyes bulging out, and then and out. Then, and then we show, but what it does is it shows the outside of the house. Michael turns around and starts walking towards him. And we hear a, no, yeah. from him. 
Like he couldn't run away. Yes. He's literally getting. I, I can't believe it's that yeah. one to one. Yeah. Of you're that not, scene. It's a reference, right? Not, yeah. But I mean, it's not like Michael McDonald. He was sitting there going like. You know, it's kind of funny that Austin Powers made fun of this scene, like, you know, to the filmmakers yeah, as he, right. on the day, like, you're, you're going to do that? Because no, we, we, right. you know, we yeah. did this. We've done of, this. Uh, I did yeah. this 20 did this years ago. We did it as, it was a joke that yeah. it yeah. might not but come you're off doing the same it now. way in this okay, movie. I trust you because you're, you're, there's no reason he should be dead. And for all we know, uh, they're going to get feedback from everybody and he'll show up in the next movie. Yep. I can almost Because oh, we didn't it. actually see Because we didn't see Viewers voice yep. surveys will write the next movie. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. can tell you another one that's going to mm-hmm. happen. We'll Although that was one of the things I liked about this movie because uh, what they did in retconning it in the first in 2018 uh, Judy Greer's husband is killed and like nobody fucking cares. <laughs> yeah. And so in this one they're like okay we're going to kind of sort of deal with the fact that right. like, her husband yeah. and uh, Andy Matichek's uh, Matichek, her mm-hmm. father yeah. Is dead. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So they talk about him enough where I'm like, man, eh, this sucks. And it's like, you're not really doing it well, but at least I appreciate it. At that least you, you brought it up. Right? It, it, it does suck. They <laughs> didn't do it well. <laughs> she had a moment in the back of the car that I thought was pretty good yeah. that she didn't like. Cause I was like, this happened an hour ago that yeah. your dad died. Like, yeah. we're all dealing with this pretty well. I mean, they give him some moments of that, but she's she's trying to hold it together to go kill Michael, mm-hmm. but she lets it loose a little bit in the back of that car when Lonnie starts oh, talking about but the old that's memories. It. Oh, when she said, so you knew my dad, she makes it sound like she grew up not knowing her dad. And she wants right. to hear she makes it sound like, like it was 10 years ago that he, he died. He, this is, his this body's is, still warm. It is. This is the, this is the problem with... Yeah. The, that is like the smallest version, but if you expand that, that is what is wrong with the dialogue in this yeah. movie. It, for, like, it forgets any continuity from the no, first movie. No, it also movie. doesn't know like it where it's at, what these people would... They don't know what these people would say in these situations. I it, mean, I'll say it again. Just, yeah. Never been stalked by a mass killer on Halloween. Just, I know. But, but it's just so funny because it's like they know what happened in 1978, but they don't know what happened in their own, in their last own movie. movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We got the drain pipe. Yeah, we got the we dead got the dog, dog. But yeah. other yeah, stuff. We did in our first movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They didn't get it all right, I will say. I did rewatch Halloween the other day yeah. on the 4K. He's got more of the uh, of the. Like Skin the color. flesh color on the, the, on the mask, color on the yeah. mask in yeah. the first one. Like, yeah. they fight. it's not that clean. <laughs> it's not that clean. He looks pristine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like it. Uh, Shiny. It's a shiny Michael Myers. <laughs> well, this movie does climax with the mob finally taking on Michael Myers, led by Tommy Doyle, beats the living shit out of him. They all mm-hmm. beat the fuck out of him. They catch him at his house. He comes outside, and they all fucking wail on him. And it's like, ooh, Michael Myers, what's he going to do? Because he's surrounded by a bunch of people. Although we're like, well, he, we saw a couple like minutes ago, it seems like an hour ago, that he was surrounded by cops, and he basically like g- gave up. They beat him up, and then uh, Which arrested him. The, we- we got to talk about this. This is a major flaw in this movie. So the the cops have him at gunpoint outside of the Myers house, which is like, you know, in 78, that is right. And it was just some nameless cop that had the gun on him, right? It wasn't. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. And then we see that Hawkins, like when he, the cop goes to take the shot, pushes the gun out of the way. Oh, no. Okay. When Loomis, 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 Loomis was oh, going to yeah, okay. Loomis was going to blow Michael's yeah. brains out on the front lawn of this, which. I have a question though. Okay. Why would that shot have killed him and not the six shots before? Why is Loomis this the was death blow? Shoot him on the in the head. I think that was the thing. Myers was like, but if he's ground. evil incarnate, what does it matter? Because Hawkins has taken he's taken this forty years of guilt that I could have I could have put an end all this. He keeps saying all this stuff like this. No, yeah. you couldn't have, dude. It would have been the same as every other shot that went into him. Is it amazing to you how many people in this movie want to take responsibility somehow for Michael? You know, yeah, like, they all got survivor's guilt. Every killing, all of them. It's my fault. Yeah. It's my fault because oh, yeah. she's like this thing that I created, and I'm like, wait, what? You how? Yeah. What and, is that? That line. I don't know. <laughs> what Laura, is Laura, that this line? is Lori's this thing line. I, yeah, this I, I mean, I know that she's been through a lot and she's jacked up on drugs and shit, but that's not a Lori line. That's a script line. This that's is not Lori. What is the purpose of it? She didn't create it. I don't know who this woman is in this movie. Is. This is not Lori Strode. But this the, is not the Lori Strode I know. Like, who the Laurie fuck Strode. is this character? All Jamie Lee Curtis does in this movie really is like, no, let it burn. And then, uh, you know, she wakes up and in she the talks hospital. talks to Frank for a while. Yeah, she, yeah. she Hawkins, yeah. Yeah. she's yeah. like, there's Way an actual... Why is this their movie? There's a romantic movie. link there between him and her, and then we're bookended because um, obviously we start with Hawkins, right? Hawkins has the flashback. We're setting up something for Hawkins. 
I don't know. What, Why? You know, again, yeah. <laughs> an, invented, an invented character. <laughs> and just wants to invent guilt for these characters. Yeah. yeah he's yeah, an like, invented character, yes. Yeah. So no, we, we both know that there's nothing inside that man but pure evil. I'm like, yeah, okay, so why audience, would that shot have matter hurt? The audience has known this for 40 years, but I'm glad Michael that you Michael has haunted this out. town for 40 years. <laughs> yeah. it's the just, characters are so far behind the audience in like the history of mm-hmm. Michael Myers, you know? Oh, yeah, this is heavy-handed dialogue. Heavy That's what we used to call this. Heavy-handed. I can't describe how heavy on the nose <laughs> this is um, so on the nose but these two and- characters like don't have any kind of resolution they're not there at the mob they're still in the hospital talking to each they, other they try they have so little to do with her that Lori tries to get out and gets reshuffled back into the room like 20 minutes later bleeding again yep. like she really really does a circle ends up yep. exactly how she was before so she mm-hmm. and the purpose Hawkins of- can sit there and pontificate on the nature of evil and yes. that, li- that he levels up when he kills people yes or Based whatever. on what? I don't know. Got my arms in the air. I don't know. She's, yeah. she's nuts. All she's that fucking nuts. dialogue is like, are we being lectured to? Is this some somebody's <laughs> thesis? A some message point? movie? Like yeah. We are the at, fuck? Like, after the mob thing and the guy, you know, uh, and I can't. Speaking of heavy-handed, the the drama they wanted to get out of the guy committing suicide. A whole mob made this guy jump out, break a window, and commit suicide. Ooh, the sentimental music was the sentimental awful, music. Awful. They like he's like ah, what what. I don't know this I don't guy. Know what this movie is? No, I, I don't what know who that? this character yeah. is. I have, don't give a fuck about this character. No, why are making a point about mob violence? That That's what the filmmakers. I fuck. It's a Halloween. <laughs> Kill the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't come to Halloween for lessons. There you I'm go. Not trying to learn I'm lessons. I'm watching mobs and. Sh- I'm, All right, Hollywood, take note. <laughs> God damn it, no more and fucking I, lessons I, in your I, movie. <laughs> uh, I think this movie thinks it's like a telling a beautiful Frankenstein story. It is I not. Think really, I it think is they think this not is prestige horror. Yeah. Yep. And it's this is what's elevating so the horror. This is what's making it like, you know, yeah, <laughs> profound. Um okay. So they think they're profound. They're we profound we should talk about the Judy Greer and That's right because uh we say that the the mob beat the fuck out of Michael Myers, but guess what? That's not the end of the he, movie. He kills Tommy Doyle too <laughs> in the in the process. Um Judy Greer like runs up to well, he, for, first of all the, the mob does beat him down yeah and then yeah. Uh, apparently Brackett's gonna come through and <laughs> blow his brains out again and, then, and retreads on he ruins his line his his well, yeah because it makes oh, yeah. no sense everyone's t- entitled it's to one, one no, good scare it's, it's, yeah like that was a great line in the original but that line that's and a trailer having, line. and bringing yeah. that actor back to do that yeah. that is what's insulting yeah exactly yeah. to just do that to make that, that man shit. like yeah, this no, it goes to your old, point yeah. earlier it's like all their dialogue is like oh, this is, that could be a trailer line. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So well, anyway, yes. Michael Myers. Uh, but he then course, kills. He's every, not dead. No, he kills everyone in the mob that just beat the shit out of him. Yeah. So he's not dead, and then he just kills all of them and Tommy, and all of them right there. But not Lindsay Wallace is at the hospital though, so she she's is alive, alive at the end of this movie. Back for the second one, yeah. 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 She kills so uh, Andy Matichek's boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's who, in cares? The who cares about that guy? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. we want him to die in the first one. Yeah, that's Lonnie's kid, right? He's, yeah, he's dead. Everybody. Lonnie dies off screen. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that leaves us with Judy Greer, who goes up to Michael Myers bedroom mm-hmm. and stares the sisters, out the window. The sister's, the sister's bedroom. bedroom. Sorry, you're right. The, the sister's, sister's bedroom. bedroom. Because this is also a point that's hammered home multiple times in the movie, and I think Hawkins comes up with this amazing thing. Like, you know, they're always talking about, like, when he was a kid, Michael Myers would just go up to his bedroom, his sister's bedroom and stare out the window, and he was looking at, Hall- at Haddonfield. Mm-hmm. What was he looking at? And Hawkins is like, he wasn't looking at Haddonfield. He was looking at his own reflection in the mirror. Like, okay. And, okay. And? and? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So why wasn't he right. just looking in a mirror? There's a vanity right, right next to him. Yeah. yeah. So I don't get it. You know, it's supposed to be <laughs> searching into <laughs> the soul, but there is no soul there. He's just, I He's don't evil. fucking know. Why is he? Yeah. yeah. I don't understand this at all. <laughs> nope. And while she's up there, surprise, Michael Myers is up there too and stamps the fuck out of her. Well, because the way done. she get, lures him in <laughs> is the Friday the 13th logic where she's holding his mask and oh, says, yeah. I'm an innocent oh, yeah, woman just like your sister was and then she lures him into the house. So like well, when no, he she, stabs that, her... She, no, lures, no, him no, she in, lures him to the, the mob. Street. Yeah. Okay, so... 
to and protect then the your daughter. Right. But then yeah. after that, does she go back in the house? Yeah. Does that happen afterwards? Yes, yeah. when yeah. after okay. all yeah. the police and everybody's... Right. But she's holding his mask and saying, I'm just like your sister. I was an innocent woman. I'm an innocent woman just like your sister yeah. was. It's like that Friday the 13th, like, get the mom's sweater and be like, look, I'm your mom, Jason. It's the same fucking kind logic. Is, yeah. And then she goes up to the bedroom, yeah, and then so she just shout, innocent woman over here! But that's, yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> that's ironic. Or not ironic, but that's interesting then that they are trying to bo- uh, equate, you know, like like some kind of motivation for my well, like why did he kill his, his sister? Because she was innocent. But then like, there's this that, is like yeah. this doesn't work on any kind of psychological it's, level at no. all. It is boring as fuck. And, like, when, yeah. 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 and when she goes to stand in the this, this, this spot in front of the window and he comes to kill her, there's a quick flash to the scene of Sandy Johnson getting murdered in the original, like a real quick one where like oh, Judy, 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 well, like Judy Greer's face, like when she turns, there's a close up on her face, and they cut to that close up of the mask, like him seeing her face oh, through the mask. Catch it's that. like wow, a split second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll yeah. Have to watch that again. Yeah. And they stay her to death. Yeah, there is uh, uh, Michael Myers' Achilles Colin. heel is getting his mask taken off. Every time he gets his mask taken off, he has to like he's got to put that fucking thing back yeah. on. Yeah, because we were talking about this movie had kind of like video game logic. Like you got to find all the right weapons to collect, you know, to mm-hmm. defeat the boss, Michael. And we were saying like, what's his like a equ- his weak spot? His missing scale? Like on a dragon, there you, there you look for the missing scale. And Colin called it correctly that it's when his mask is off. That's when yeah, he's, he's like, weak and you hit him. Yeah, shit, I was gonna yeah. kill you, but oh, yeah. fuck, I gotta yeah. stop and pull this thing back yeah, on well, my head. Holly, you point pointed out earlier there was a scene is it when he kills the dr- old lady old drone couple with the knives oh yeah yeah the yeah. old lady is like watching him stab her husband on the counter and he's like taking one knife like one by one and out of the block and yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm pretty sure he's testing him out to see which one he likes. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you're in a video game and you scroll through your weapons to right. find the right one is what and he's sure doing. Sure enough, he picks the last one. What do we think about uh, maskless Michael Myers? No. No. Don't. I, no. Don't. To see his, his horseshoe balding. Yeah. That's that not why we're here. I no, didn't I like forget. it in the original. No, I, I don't forget. like it in the original. I want to forget it, as much know? as I can that he's an old balding man. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, that doesn't help. Unless you do some, like, fucked up shit to his face. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, they don't show him in full light often. But you do still... get, like, the scarred side of his face yeah. or whatever. But uh. you see him from the back. There is an extended scene where Judy Greer has his mask. And uh, he is wandering through the streets of Haddonfield without the mask. And so he confronts the mob maskless. And then he bends down, picks it up so they can beat the fuck out of him. Mm -hmm. It was just like, okay, I get that you're breaking, I suppose, new ground. The whole idea is if a guy wears a mask, then at some point you got to unmask him, right? That's Mm -hmm. the thing. Mm -hmm. But we did this in the first one. Yeah, We did this in five. That wasn't very good, nope. and we've been doing it in Halloween 2018. You're yeah. demyth- uh, demystifying the devil, I suppose, mm-hmm. by uh, by doing this. And it's like, oh, he's just an old guy <laughs> wandering around. Like, anybody could take him. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's more powerful with the mask on. That's why I, I mean, can I withstand think, body blows and I think, stabbing. Well, let's say that, that we've also been, <clears throat> the dialogue has been trying very hard to build up Michael as something more than just a regular man in this movie. Like mm-hmm. we talked about heavy handed earlier. They're very heavy handed at this as well. Yeah. Just so he's like, some kind of super six year old with the power of a man. Like that was an actual, <laughs> yeah, I think that was yeah, an actual yeah, line yeah, from Will yeah. Patton at this point. Yeah. It's like, Whoa, they're really trying <laughs> yeah. something here. They want everything. They want a reason why he can go I through all this shit. That was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of unintentional laughter. I think like yes. as we were watching oh, yeah. it, Tons. a lot of groaning and uh, it was cringy because these lines are so, I mean, this is so some bad. terrible fucking writing. And they folks. have, and there's conviction when they're being delivered. Yeah. But I feel bad for the actors. I mean, like I'm, 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 I'm taken out of it so much. I feel bad for the actors, like having to say over and over again, "He's an apex predator," stuff like that. You know, yeah. like <laughs> this I, is an apex predator. To us tonight. Yeah, I mean, I feel boogie. It how was, many people? Um, how many people said that they were the one that had to kill him? Was a like lot three? Of yeah, that was like some of the first lines in the yeah. movie. Yeah, because that's the first thing I'm gonna think when I wake up from getting stabbed in the neck. I'm going to be the one to do it. Well, yeah. okay, so here's, I guess, what I expect from Halloween Ends. In right. the first movie... First of all, Karen's not dead. Who? Karen. You don't think Judy so? Judy Greer. They didn't no. Know. They didn't... It was all superficial shit. Whatever they were doing, what they maybe want you to think, she's mm-hmm. not dead. She'll be in the next one. Because he did not, like, stab, yeah. stab her. They didn't show any of that. There's a solid chance. No, yeah. I, I'll give you that. I, I can almost guarantee it. 
Okay. Solid chance. Yeah. Give well, it. I am going to propose this to you. And okay. I expect to be unsatisfied unless David Gordon Greer is listening to this podcast. <laughs> hey, maybe we can get him fired. You know, oh, what, never. Like, you know how like this Colin Trevorrow got fired from Star office? Wars? Never. Uh, <laughs> no, this guy did like 50 million yeah, but this, box office? The, no, no way. We were able to do it with the Star Wars movies, man. Yes, we got people fired with the Star Wars oh, movies. Horrible yeah. director. Yeah. Well, but also, the, so there's but the Ryan idea. Johnson got fired too. That's true. There's the idea of setup and payoff is uh, in, important in kind of dramatic storytelling. And so the first. Uh, Halloween... Are you talking to David Gordon yeah, Green Col- right Col- now? I was like, Colin, we know. David, David, are you listening? We well, know the this. first movie did set up something that was never answered. And mm-hmm. that was say something, mm-hmm. <laughs> which I can't remember how many times I was screamed that at me during uh, Halloween 2018. That like at some point, Michael Myers, just say something. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Dr. Luma or Dr. Sartain. Sartain Sartain wants him to say something. Yes. What did he say? If he said one word. Okay. So in, in Halloween kills, Michael Myers talks. Does, does right? he? Does he? <laughs> no. In, in Halloween. Or sorry. Halloween ends. Halloween oh, ends. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, I, was I like, missed I was it. Like, I, like, I missed Mike. that. Sorry, sorry, yeah, Excuse me. We need the, to back up an hour one. and yeah. redo this. And in the third one, dramatic payoff, right? Officer Hawkins. I'm going to be the one that kills him. Mm-hmm. Hawkins has to be the one who kills. Why is this Hawkins movie? Yeah. Because you're supposed to think this is a Laurie Strode movie, but like she really isn't in this at all. It's not no, really about it's not her. her. Movie. We've established that it's not about not her. Not even the about her family. tell her that this isn't about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. I wish the filmmakers knew this. <laughs> right. I, but do you think they'll continue with the theme that it's not about her? Or you think they're going to go back to her? No, they they gotta, that's her. the boss battle, okay. right? Yeah. Because we don't have a Ryan Johnson to J.J. Abrams handoff, I think the themes will continue. Yeah. 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 But I think these two things I've just established are set up and hammered on so much that they look like important plot points mm-hmm. will be forgotten and discarded by oh, the absolutely. when yeah. they get around to doing Halloween. It, you know, we did hear Michael Myers say a word in a movie once. It was called Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. At the end of the movie, he said, no! I think he said die. And he talked did a lot he? when he was a kid. Yeah. He said no, die so and yeah. stab and then, Yeah. Yeah. So once again, it's all been done, but don't 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 think about that. That's right. We haven't about seen it. No, we haven't yeah. seen any Nothing of exists. No. Yeah. I haven't. We haven't all seen those for the last forty years. Nope. No. Yeah. All no. those movies are bad, and it's taking the genius of David Gordon Green to come in and save us from uh, like the last ourselves in the last years yeah. bad <laughs> Halloween movies. Yeah. Sean shaking his yeah. Head. We're all right. so, there was a lot of head shaking watching this yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. I can't <laughs> express. <laughs> I don't. You're gonna listen to this, and I don't think we can get across. Like if I could reach through this mic to you. And, uh, well, well, well you're going to get to talk about it. Okay, yeah. so here we go. We're going to go uh, no, around no. the table <laughs> and we're going to wrap up uh, Halloween Kills. Um, I mean, I guess we all know how this is going to go, but you want to actually sit around and listen to it. First of all, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to summon our mailman and his name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. It's at least in my top 12, Colin. Top 12 Halloween. Oh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Oh, now I feel like I have to redo my entire ranking after this movie. One at the back. No problem. Uh, No, but I I feel like the same thing. (laughs) Well, no, but I'm thinking like now I appreciate other ones more Uh, that I didn't like that might shuffle up the ladder in a different way. You know what I'm saying? You can put them all up if you just put this one. Well, yeah. Well, I guess I don't move. No, yeah. What would you think of John Carpenter's score? Not good. No. Did Too many like chugging it. guitars. Did like lots like of it. crunchy chugging guitars. I like it. I think the first one's better, the 2018. But I, I enjoyed it. I thought there was some good throbbing. stuff in here. I have to go and listen to it again. I didn't like it. A lot of throbbing. A lot of, was, a lot of throbbing. There was moments that I was even like distracted. I was like, this music sucks. It sounded a little too like heavy metal at yeah. points. And I was there like, was a, There was a scene where the music just kind of faded out when it seemed like with uh, Kyle Richards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was a scene where he's stalking her where it was like, is the music like just kind of going the other way? Well, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the problem with the music like, literally left the movie. It said, you know what? I can't help you here. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. <laughs> What's weird about it is, is that John Carpenter me to me now seems like he composes songs, not like a score. So he's like, here's right. this song that I'm going to play over this. You know, I mean, right. you know, it's score. It's, you know, it's music, but it's like, it's its own standard thing. It's not he's, a cohesive piece. Right. Of there's no, it doesn't, he's not keeping, he, there's no new yeah. themes that, no. kinda, you know, the first one, Lori had a theme and, and it was the good. Shape had, the one that 
shaped stalks had a theme mm-hmm. and you know it was like there was that makes it cohesive mm-hmm. if you're just like I'm going to do this here and it's going to sound totally different mm-hmm. than when I'm going to do this Later over on, here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, this is just, you're throwing shit at a fucking wall. I think if you get the soundtrack album, it probably sounds awesome as a rock album or yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know. It's uh, probably fun to see him play these songs at a concert. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, like, you know, honestly, we need to stop talking to those two. To Jamie Lee Curtis and John Carpenter, I think. <laughs> okay. Jamie Lee Curtis is an executive producer on this yeah, as well. Yeah, but so they're they're just handed. cash and checks. They don't give a fuck. I think they, they I think they do, and I think they have think way they more input into this movie yeah. than they should. You think no, they no, think no, they're no. giving the fans what yeah. they want. I don't. Uh, Maybe not John Carpenter. Colin, but I think Jamie Lee Curtis. Colin, I was gonna say, didn't we have a whole conversation about how John Carpenter didn't agree with what David Gordon Green was doing and said, "How? Why are you going that way?" And then still, I don't think yeah. I'm not gonna put yeah. any of this on John Carpenter. He wrote a score. Oh, he I'm gonna because they're waiting for his notes to come back yeah, yeah, he yeah, wrote yeah. a score and cashed a check like that like, but they go to yeah. him for script notes too like yeah, every but, single time and we, we need to but stop doing they that. didn't take he didn't they didn't take carpenter's script notes that's the whole point well they said that he said that he took some of them and then others they would make uh you know we're gonna we would reason out our defense or something to that so it's like, yeah okay words you should never be saying about your yeah. script why are you doing sartain uh, well, we got this and this and this and this, and then over you, you as the director, you overrule right. well, we John need Carpenter. Someone to say, uh, stab yeah. Will Patton in the neck later on yeah. if we don't have Sartain. Who Otherwise, do we have? how well, else are we going to get him to her house? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> we want to remind you how you can write in on this interactive portion of our show. All you got to do is follow along on Facebook, facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show, or Twitter. At Sad Freak Show. Or you can email us. At Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. First of all, I got to let you know about tonight's movie, MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, has written in to let us know that we're inducting three people to oh, nice. the wall tonight. Okay. I mean, this has surprised you. How many fucking Halloween movies have we watched? I feel like I'm surprised there's anyone left <laughs> yeah. because we've done so many. Yeah. Okay, well, we're inducting Nick Castle to the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Nick Castle was famously the shape in Halloween 2018. I'm surprised that wasn't in this script. Uh, <laughs> apparently, anything else they put in there. apparently, he was the shape in at least once. He, some, he, he, he's credited. They brought him in for a day and let him do one scene. So what, sure. He has like uh, physical impairment or something. He's like Chewbacca, right? They couldn't get Peter Mayhew back, but oh, he's yeah. in Star Wars. He's just an this older like dude. I, I got a picture with him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he's we've seen uh, him pretty normal. So like James he's just older. Jude Courtney is yeah. actually the, the. And he's really wire. tall. He was at that same convention. He's really tall. Is that the guy who we're seeing, the bald dude? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, Nick Castle also was the director of The Last Starfighter, yeah. which we did on this show. Uh, Will Patton is on the wall because he was in Halloween. He was in Halloween Kills, and he was also in the movie Copycat. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, and Charles Cyphers is on the wall because he was in The Fog, which yep, we did on uh-huh. this show. Mm-hmm. He was in Halloween 2, which we did on this show. Yep. And he was in Halloween Kills, mm-hmm. which we did tonight. One of those is my fault. All right, I don't want to blame <laughs> All right, well, before we get to Halloween uh, Kills uh, feedback, we got Trap Bandaz. I hope I'm saying your name right. Says, thank you guys for doing the show. I love it. I'm a freaking homebody, and if I'm not making music, I'm watching stuff like this, and it makes me feel like I'm back home in Grandma's Haunted House. Oh, Aww, thanks. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank then, you. Now, does Grandma haunt the house, or is she there and it's haunted by others? I like to think she's like a like a bordello madam, like, this. welcome to my haunted house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of haunting would you like? Go to this room for this type, you know? I, I love it. Never, I like that. I think love she it. manages the haunted house. I like that. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Grandma has a deep, dark ba- basement, maybe, or something like that all right yeah. about tonight's movie halloween kills chris harkey says uh he hasn't seen it yet he says my expectation is more or less that it'll be similar to the recent reboot and i'm not anticipating any big twists but i'm still looking forward to it mm. yeah no twists okay there you go no. yeah you probably want to keep that uh keep it low keep, yep. keep it low, keep yep. it low. DJ Dogman Fish writes in and says, it's like those old 1940 radio dramas. You're just waiting to see how Michael makes it out of this one. I was rooting for him because these townspeople were terrible. I think, well, I mean, that gets into the whole discussion of like the killers are the heroes at this yeah. point. Mm-hmm. The cliffhanger ending is, how is our hero going to escape? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no, the <laughs> evil mob has surrounded Michael Myers. Yeah. How does our hero escape? <laughs> Tune in next week to find out. Ryan Handsome Jansen writes oh, in and says, uh, mm-hmm. can you handle the disappointment a second <laughs> time around? 
I mean, maybe. You listen to this episode and you tell us how we handled it. I don't know. I don't know if I handled this well. You know, we have goldfish memory with episodes sometimes, you know, like we'll forget. Sometimes we forget (laughs) the pain quickly. Uh, I I forgot that you guys actually recommended the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Owen Johnson says, I almost walked out of the theater at the end of this movie. I was like literally <laughs> sighing in disappointment until that moment when the shape was like, nah, he thought you got me. And then he went on to kill everyone that saved the movie for me. Just, uh, felt good to have a Halloween movie in theaters again. <laughs> and I think that that annoying daughter should have died. Not Judy Greer. I almost, I, mean, I almost walked out in the middle, but we had to record. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> it would have been really funny if you didn't say a damn word, Gosh, and I you can't. just got up, walked up, and we heard your car back out of the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like uh, did she oh, fucking shit. leave? Like, <laughs> you know what? That's happened here before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I wouldn't be totally surprised. It just would have been funny because we would have just thought she was running to the bathroom, and then we hear right. the car back out, and we're like, oh, no, yeah. she's gone. I'm like, not no. going to lie. If Sean wasn't parked behind me, I probably would have. <laughs> we have lost people before. So. That's, Sean, is, oh, is that why we have to have someone park at the end to keep us all here? <laughs> I mean, I th- for tonight, yes. Although, yeah. I, I should have left. I don't know. Yeah. Well, Adam Kaler writes in and, I, and says, I thought the last one was just okay. I think it's Michael's time to go to space. We sent James T. Kirk to sure, space why now. Why yeah. not someone wearing a James T. Kirk face? I mean, at this point, I would appreciate one that's just absurdity. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. I'll take I mean, that. go for it. Yeah, Just keep, like if we're gonna if we're no. gonna do if we're gonna do this, send him to space. Oh, Might Jesus. as well. It'd be better than this shit. Colin, it's not my fault. They're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Siebel says I'm not worried about the mixed reviews. Michael Myers is like a great white shark. Let's face it, Rob Zombie destroyed this series, and thankfully Blumhouse and David Gordon Green are breathing new life into this beloved franchise. Listen, we're Guys, past the down. point of bra- of, of <laughs> no. blaming Rob Zombie. That was a over a decade ago. Let's let it go and move on. You know. <laughs> and I'm a fan of that movie. I just watched it again. I'm like, that. I movie, like both of them. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, it's not Halloween. It's not John Carpenter. If you're going to remake a movie that shouldn't have fucking had a remake in the first place, might as well go completely in the opposite direction, which is what that movie does. Like, it's. Yeah. I like it more and more. It, the more it, of these they make. It took a big swing. Yeah. Was it successful? That depends on your your mileage may vary, you know? Yeah. But I, I just don't agree that you need to fucking give a whole lot of context for these things that were simple right. campfire stories in the first place. Yeah. You know, but if you're going to, like yeah. you know, okay. Well, Commit you know, to it, I guess. You, yeah. You did it and all mm-hmm. right, it was that's what it was. It was good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nelson Nascimento said, uh, I don't think anything will ever come close to achieving the feeling of the 78 Halloween again. There's just been a paradigm shift since then, and I don't even know if it's possible with today's audiences. However, the way Green and company have been playing in the same sand wa- sandbox has me excited. Hmm. Maybe don't be excited. Just yeah. just, pr- just c- practice some self-care and put your expectations in a realistic with, spot. Yeah, I was on board with that comment until the very end. <laughs> All right. Jacob Kotner says, Halloween Kills is an absolutely brutal love letter to the fans. I'm gutted by many of the decisions they made, but in a good way. I think we can safely say that this might be the best sequel in the franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed it as much as I did. Keep freaking and happy Halloween. Thanks for writing in. Thank you for writing yeah. in. Who wrote that? Yeah. Just, who was that? It was Jacob I, I, the best <laughs> sequel in the franchise is a big statement. Uh, you're, you're saying that you're comparing it to what, 12 other you movies? Do yeah. Big statement. Yeah. Uh, Travis Legler says, question, will Sean Tyler be forgiving or furious if they fuck it up? I well, think we'll I've, get to I the ramp up, yeah, right? I think I've straddled it pretty <laughs> yeah. well. There was yelling. On there was yeah. yelling. I don't, we haven't had I yelling, there, Sean, for a while. I think there had to be, but <laughs> I think there could have been way more, but I'm just very tired <laughs> of this. This movie kind of took it out of you, didn't, so it, tired. didn't it? I'm just so tired. <laughs> well, Chris Huddleston says, my, See, Huds! There Chuds. you go. Chuds. He's back again. Two weeks in a row. <laughs> Two says, weeks in a row. Uh, my expectations are pretty low. I wanted to like Halloween 2018 more than I did. I thought it felt into the just okay category for me. It was certainly better than four, five, six resurrection and zombies movies, but it was well behind one, two, three and H two O one, two, three, one, two, H two O. I'll give you that three. Again, I think yeah. everyone's uh, yeah. Just, three is kind of irrelevant to this discussion, just, yeah. but I, I I don't think we can we can't harp on anybody liking what they like. We said you can get yeah. whatever flavor you it's want. It's a choose your own adventure. Yeah. yeah. So there's some people who are just gonna like different timelines. But than yeah. but three doesn't have anything to do with this. 
You know, three is its own. No, but thing. now there are people who think that three is like this masterpiece. Yeah, but it's story wise, it's not connected to anything. So to me, it's irrelevant to compare yeah, no, it to the other movies. You know. Yeah, we yeah. did an episode on yeah. Halloween three. By the way, you can go back and listen <laughs> to that. Oh no! Uh, Evil Kid <laughs> Summer says, "Well, it'll probably be better than Scream, at least." No, oh. I don't know. Probably, I mean, no. I didn't think that trailer looked good, but now it's looking pretty good. So. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> About uh, last week's movie, which was Ginger Snaps, Peter Gatt says, here's some Ginger Snaps trivia I found out while listening to the DVD commentary. Ooh. Lucy Lawless is the voice every time you hear a PA announcement at the school. That's oh, cool. Interesting. Oh. Nice. Yeah, we didn't know that. So there you didn't go. Know we that failed on she's our, a nice lady. Uh, research. Uh, and she's not Canadian. That's weird. And it's what connection did she have? Right. There's no Raimi's involved. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. They, prob- they probably shot Xena in Canada, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> they got on her lunch. No, hey, can you New record Z- a few lines? Wasn't that New Zealand or something like that? Was I it? That, yeah, that's why they did Evil Dead or Ash versus Evil Dead there. They had done uh, all the huh. like Hercules uh, all right. and all that stuff. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, you know what? Monster Squad has a pretty good werewolf transformation. It's not flashing or anything, but it gets the point across. And he actually looks like an actual werewolf. I forgot about him. There you I go. forgot about the transformation. Also. Yeah, but I, like he moves one way, then we cut to this way. It's, it's, a, like, cut back yeah, it's a cut back transformation. I was uh, you don't actually yeah. see it. It's right. just cutting Plus, back Plus, most forth. of that werewolf is like, it's like a bodysuit from like the he's waist. Like yeah. The wolf he's man, like yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. he looks like a wolf man. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. Yeah. I've seen. But he's got more hair on him he's than got the puppet from any Yeah, than the hairless cat from... Ginger, Ginger snaps. snaps. Yeah. Uh, Drag Me to Hell was the movie we watched the week before that. Pat Hetfield writes in and says, I remember you brought up the idea that maybe Allison Lohman might have been miscast in her part. And that reminded me that I'd read that originally Elliot Page was going to do it, but uh, couldn't because of a scheduling conflict. That and would this, have been great. This is actually a massive oversight that we had in the making uh, on that episode because, yeah, I mean... Wow. <laughs> that was the original cast. That would have been so much better. Oh, yeah. I yeah. know. That, that would have been good. Been, do you think they're just like, we can't have Justin Long, we can't have two brunettes be the main characters in this? No. We need a blonde. They do look like siblings. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, they don't pair up well. There was some kind of scheduling conflict, or maybe it's like, this isn't good for my career or something. Yeah. And there was a back out that happened there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Grant Parrish says that Allison Lohman was also in Big Fish. Yeah, no, that's right. There you go. We didn't mention that on the show. Food Stamp Davis says uh, CG isn't gross. Give me rubber stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. rubber stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, we don't. We don't that we had. We don't like CG here. Yeah, Mm-mm. but B. Shaw Foolery says I think the floating corpse in the grave scene looked a little too realistic. No, that scene was gross. It was gross. Mm-hmm. That was gross. And wet, and wet, 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 and wet, muddy, and, and cool cemetery, mm, pointless. Yeah. And yeah. if that cross had actually landed on her head, she would have drowned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that yeah. complaint I had about that. <laughs> but, again, all in a, now. But, but a lot, yeah, I was saying, gotta slip it in somewhere. But a lot happened, so yeah, that's true. Um, a couple weeks ago, but this is an interesting comment to read. Mm-hmm. Guns Akimbo was a movie that we watched oh, on the show. It was a divisive movie. And Brett Williams said, a few weeks ago, I put a screwdriver tip into the webbing of my thumb. And after it was Ooh. stitched up, I couldn't even use my thumb to work my phone through the pain. There's no way in hell all this hardware in your hands would let you pull the trigger or tolerate the recoil. The pain would be unbearable. Where are the Mythbusters? <laughs> I was just about to say thank you for Mythbusters of the Fed Saturday Night Freak Yeah, Show. our own personal comments. Mythbusters. Yeah. That's fantastic. There you go. That's a freak that's, show that's, comment. That's, like, I appreciate that because I don't ever want to have that personal experience, nope. so I'd rather hear about it from someone who's yeah. actually no. unfortunately lived it. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. It's unfortunate yeah. <laughs> that went through. Uh, that yeah, happened. Sorry, that sounds yeah. horrible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, um, so now is the most exciting part of the evening. We're going to go around the table and we're going to tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Halloween Kills. Any starting vol- with... Any volunteer? <laughs> volunteer? Sean, you just, you, I'll go. Oh, okay, I'll go. Michaela's going to um, go. <laughs> I, so, I mean, we've talked ad, ad nauseum on the show about how much we all love Halloween and love the franchise and things like that. Uh, I, I've come to the realization lately because in the month of October, I treat the Halloween franchise like birth control. I got to watch one every day. For the whole month like <laughs> and so even the ones i don't like because i'm trying to see what other people see in them you know i'm trying to un- get it you know right. so i've ever already... watching this tonight where you, where you did you just have a phantom birth control oh wait no, I, I was like no this counts <laughs> so you know um but like i've seen halloween four like three times already this month so like you know because amc will decide what i watch today you know you um 
So I've, I've seen H2O twice as well, too, which I, I like to compare because this is like this is the other Laurie Strode movie. Right. Mm-hmm. But the I think I've really come to realize with this franchise is the first movie is so simple that if you want to make more, the only options you have are remake, like retread the exact same story and the exact same like simple approach, or you have to expand the mythos and the history. And that's where it gets messy, right? Because yeah. like you have such a simple movie and you try to add to it and it's like, well, it ruins the simplicity of what, what I liked about that first right. movie, the right? simplicity and the yeah. scariness. Yeah. Like, and I, you know, it's just not something that's very flexible when it comes to mythology and backstory, as we've pointed out with all the continuity issues. So it's, like, yeah, the, I mean, you heard all of our issues with this. I wanted to like this movie, but I had a feeling I wasn't going to. I tried to be open minded. I didn't watch trailers, but the TV spots are fucking everywhere. I can't <laughs> avoid them. And because the trailers did show way too much of this movie, um, it I did love the 78 flashback. I really liked it. It was the only time I felt anything other than like cringe for this movie. It was the only time I like felt a stir of like emotion at all was in that 78 flashback. Like, and like I felt like I connected with Jim Cummings and his character in such a short time and felt something and then all these other people I'm supposed to care about that I'm spending more time with I don't care they cast like, the one guy who's got like some good like oh I like him which I'm yeah, sure yeah. Could, but yeah. that's what's well, happening yeah. you're bringing other stuff that he's done into it right. yeah but I think that's but I like, like how he performs yeah idea with casting right just like, well Holly you haven't seen Wolf of Snow Hollow right mm-hmm, okay so how did you feel about this guy have you seen him in anything before? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. I didn't instantly recognize him. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, as far as like acting goes and as far, well, dialogue given, I guess yeah. is, is a big yeah. part of it. You know, like what he was given was more palatable than what most people were given. That's so true. that's a big part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I liked him. I didn't yeah. have a problem with him. Like I would like, I would kind of wish they would cast him as Tommy Doyle instead. Right. Like I would watch that movie over this one. Did they try to get Paul Rudd back for this? who knows <laughs> I, how, how i want i would like to know how how anthony michael hall ended up here you know he doesn't look anything like tommy doyle we have he has no connection to this franchise we have no reason to bring this guy in i don't understand it star power you're like oh anthony michael hall i haven't he's seen not him in any of the, the marketing Breakfast club he's not in any of the marketing i saw him in some yeah i saw him doing an interview all the po- but all the posters and stuff are all the three strode ladies he's not his name's not on the poster it's not they're not using his face on it yeah, and, he's, and he's in it so much more <laughs> yeah. than they are he's three in generations so strode strong yeah, yeah. Like, three, is three this characters a horror like, movie that i'm like yeah. what the fuck are you advertising yeah, or, I and, don't know. Yeah, Holly, yeah. like you said, it's weird because it's his movie. Yeah, and they he's act in it like, way more than them. Yeah, and the marketing doesn't have him in. Like, he's not in trailers. So he's not in any of it. It's so weird. And I don't know. Like, I would really like to know how he ended up here. Like, I get maybe you want a more known actor because of how much this actor is in the movie. Mm-hmm. You want someone more than Brian Andrews because who even knows if that guy still works, you know? Mm-hmm. I get that. But, like... I don't know, man. I like he, he's a fine actor. He's whatever. I just don't like him in this role. I think he makes that character really unlikable. And is I just there a version that that character is likable though. Like, is it? Is you gotta focus different... more on the trauma, right? You gotta focus more on I'm this way because I was a victim. Right. Well, he just seems I miss very that. Yeah. I miss, I miss that from both him and from Lindsay. Yeah, S- seeing Michael Myers again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I there want for no... these people. I want. There's no the, fear. No, I want yeah. the yeah. H2O yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the the fucking Halloween Six producers cut when when Paul Rudd sees Michael Myers again. He's Tommy oh, Doyle. Yeah, when he's yeah. banging on the thing. Yeah, yeah. And when he's, he's banging like, on the door, yeah. he's like, yeah, he's like, huh. yeah. You know I mean, like, like, he has that moment where you're right. like, Jesus Christ, this guy's seeing that's right. this thing what again. I yeah. want, yeah. I want these. If that there makes is more the sense. trauma, seeing that mask again should scare the fucking shit out of me. Right. But not in the way they did in this Which movie. is such a weird move for this movie to make, considering the whole first movie was only about Laurie's trauma. That was the whole theme of the movie, yeah. is that trauma makes you fearful and it turns you into an unhealthy recluse, right? That was the whole theme of the movie. And so at the end of this movie, when she talks about how, like, fear is the real thing that, like, that oh, hold on, I wrote it down because it was stupid, and it did, and it didn't. Make, uh, I love yeah. that. I wrote it down because it, it was says, stupid. They're it saying says, this is a growth. It says the true curse of Michael Myers. She said, "Curse the, the, of Michael Myers." <laughs> she referenced another movie. She says, "Is fear the true curse of Michael Myers?" Like he implants this fear in you and you can't go on and live a normal life because you have the fear yes we know we saw 2018 that's literally what that whole fucking movie was about is how your fear of him has ruined your life that 
What was but the point of that she's movie? She's recognized that now. But she's, that, she's that, telling it to the audience, though. It's yeah, like, how, we how, know. How cool. yeah, right. It's yeah. It's right yeah. on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see you go through this. You just, like, you just monologue it. it to the yeah. well, she, And she's she's catching up to the audience at the end of her second movie. Yeah. When yeah. We're way ahead of this. There is so, a lot of, like, we're not being shown anything. We're just being yeah. told all yeah. this shit. So, and that's not good movie making. Mm-hmm. I'll listen to a podcast. I would say... I would say when it comes out on like to stream for free, if you have Peacock or whatever, maybe watch the like se- the you know the nineteen seventy eight scene and then turn it off because I think that is interesting. It is interesting to see how like they take the Tarkin approach and CGI dead people and stuff. So I would say watch the seventy eight scene, but don't watch the movie. Don't go to the theater. I can't, I'm so glad I didn't pay extra money <laughs> I, for this. I, I told wow. Colin last week. I'm like, well, eventually I'll go see it in theaters too since we're seeing it tonight. Yeah. No, well, I'll, 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 I'll give you my answer on that one. Yeah, yeah. Crap. We should say we watched no. it. On, we watched it in the in the basement together on Peacock. So, yeah. um, I'm glad that's how we watched it. Uh, you know, it was the best possible um, atmosphere and situation, and it still didn't work. So I'm glad we did it that way. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, no, don't watch it. Watch the 78 if you can, but don't like don't go out of your way. Don't go to theater. Don't pay money. Mm-hmm. Log into someone else's Peacock. Watch that scene. And, <laughs> you know, uh, and uh, it's already made a fuck ton of money. So don't don't feel like you're like need to vote with your wallet. It's too late for that. It's already made too much money. So True. Holly, what did you think? It's already transcended so much. <laughs> yes, like fifty million dollars. <laughs> And probably just going to kill me. Um. <laughs> um, yeah, I went into this with pretty low expectations. I also tried to avoid trailers and I was like, I'm just going to go into it like any moviegoer is going into it, you know? Um, and this was fucking assaulting. This movie sucked. You're saying this I, as like not a hardcore Halloween fan, right? I'm You're saying like, like, I like Halloween. I've seen them all. I enjoy them. I have not seen them enough to really be able to fully analyze them and pick them apart the way that you guys can. Um, but I do enjoy them. It only them. leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. <laughs> and then hate leads to the fucking dark side. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, the second in the sequel franchise, yeah. isn't it? It, it, it is. Really it is. is. So yeah, I, I went into this like I'm. I like Halloween. I'm obviously I, I like horror. Um, but this movie is just a shit show for any moviegoer. If you like Halloween, if you're a massive Halloween fan, or if you're just someone going to the movies, this movie sucked regardless of where you land in the Halloween franchise fandom. It's it's awful. It, it's incomprehensive. I, it's a clusterfuck. I don't understand the motivation. No one is afraid of this guy. They're just angry at him, which I get. Maybe you can be angry with this kind of thing, but years on. but no one's afraid. We talked just talked about it. No one is scared of him. When they see him, they're not scared. They like charge him and then get and then they get surprised when he comes at them. I don't know. I don't understand who this movie's for. I it's not well written at all. The dialogue Holly is was just awful. like if you keep poking the hornet's nest, it will sting you. Right? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> what is wrong with all of you people? I. I, there was no redeeming quality of this movie. Was, like I even I, we said, there's some decent gore. I don't care. It's not enough for me. I didn't. I didn't even enjoy the 1978 flashbacks when they were happening because I was like, what's the point of this? Why are we revisiting this later on? Watching the rest of the shit show, I was like, all right, well that wasn't so bad. It, that's how I felt yeah. too. At first, I was like, I don't like it. I hate. I, yeah. I was like, they're ruining it. And now I'm like, oh well, that was kind of nice to be back in that time. I'm you like, know? well, at least that made sense. Yeah. At least that was a story that I could follow. Mm-hmm. I could follow what people were thinking and feeling, and I understood those characters. I don't know why we're watching the characters we're watching. We should be watching Lori because that's who we're should be. That's how we should be should be following. That's who we followed last time, right? There's no point. I don't understand why the Strode women are in this movie. It makes no sense. No, no one should watch this movie. This movie fucking sucked. I, I, I'm angry. I can't. I don't like it. <laughs> no one should watch it. Hard, hard pass. I. I mean, you, you could probably just listen to this episode for my worst movie of the year, but at the end of the year, just listen to this wrap up because yeah. that's what it's going to be. Just get in the car and yeah. leave. Just, mm-hmm. throw, just only the stroke. Just, just get in the car and leave. Just go. No. Go. Hard pass. Colin, what did you think? Well, I'm going to also pass on this movie. <laughs> Are you surprised? Um, Shocked. But here's the thing. I mean, Shit, I know. I'm the only one who, <laughs> no. <laughs> I sit here knowing that, like, uh, I've seen all the Halloween movies, and I consider myself a fan of the Halloween movies. And so, you know, I've seen stuff that I liked, stuff that I didn't like, you know, in uh, series, um, you know, canon. Um and now they're just, uh, you know, it's like these movies are not made for me. The, I, I recognize that they're trying to 
you know, push those nostalgia buttons. You know, yeah. the only reason that the 78 flashback is like, oh, they're doing a, they're going back into the original Halloween. I get it. But like the point of it is to set up a thing that doesn't pay off. So right. it's like then ultimately it is just fan service, you know, um, and but it doesn't even work. Like no, it doesn't work. Yeah, because if, if Hawkins, it was Hawkins, Hawkins like, doesn't, doesn't have work. a payoff. I, I don't mind which, nostalgia when it works. Which that's like the exact same problem the the uh, Rise of Skywalker had. It was yep. fan service that didn't work. Yeah, it didn't yeah. work. Um, I think the cardinal sin that this movie commits as a movie is it has it doesn't have an ending. It just stops. I mean, I know they're yeah. like, well, yeah. the original Halloween really technically didn't have an ending either. But this is like, I mean, it really, it it's like, oh, okay, now tune in for chapter three. The, that's the difference is we know there's going to be another movie where it's yeah. like the original one. It's like, okay, well, it just ends. Yeah, then, yeah the original know? was set to be yeah. like, this is it, you yeah. know? Yeah. And then because it was successful, we had to make other ones. This one is made with the idea that there's going to be a third one, which apparently they are writing now or whatever. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, because they have to see how this one does so it, they know yeah, what to do. It wasn't yeah. written ahead of time. Yeah. I was like, well, they, they've already got the other one filmed, right? They filmed this one in like 2019 or something yeah. like that. Like, we got the other one in the bag. No, they haven't even started on it yet because probably they're going to look and, you know, yep. uh, take some kind of feedback. Um this movie eventually tumbles out of fucking control. It just becomes like uh, a shapeless, which is, like, ah! uh, you know, like exercise in editing, um, like gotchas and all. That. I mean, those those last scenes are so insulting to a viewer that it does kind of feel like the shit that I was watching in the 1990s, where the people, you know, if like, yeah, they would just like. There's a lot of frenetic editing and music and you don't have time to recognize what's happening really because they are aware that it, they don't really have it. There's no emotional heft or payoff to any of these characters and we're just going to, you know, shock you with the shock cutter. Then this happens and then all of a sudden, and oh, look, he's there and he killed her. Um, it's really, um, it's, you know, you sit there and you're like, this has a huge budget, I'm sure, for a Halloween movie. Right? Oh, yeah. Those other ones were done, you know, off the grid, probably, and very affordable, independent, almost. Trankus International Pictures with Mustafa Akkad as mm -hmm. the producer. Now they're like big Hollywood, you know, things. And you're like, at no point do you fuckers have like a quality assurance uh, you know, I mean, that's the thing I guess you're expecting from a big studio. This is, is, universal, there's this is a some, universal picture. A universal picture, Blumhouse, you know, it's like there are people making, um, uh, giving notes on these screenplays. I mean, because that's, I think, the, the problem with both yes. Halloween 2018 and Halloween. This, there's, there's fundamental problems at the screenplay level that were never addressed that they just kind of argued or bullied their way through. Uh, you know, here's our reasoning for it. But it's like, this fucking doesn't make any, like you've, if you've removed the motivation for all of these characters and how they interact, what do you do? What is the point of this? I don't, right. I don't get That's any what, that. How many times did I say that watching this movie? Yeah. I said, what is the point? What is happening? Well, because yeah. I, I think we were on this, we, that, we were all on the of, same page. Yeah. It was just yeah. kind of like, I, you why know. Why is this important? A lot of why yeah. is this important? Why yeah. are we doing this? Why does this matter? I mean, that's, this is, this is a thing. I, I mean, I see this a lot with movies now that there's like, well, there's a scene and there's actors in it. <laughs> and they're speaking lines, <laughs> but that does not mean that you are telling a story that yeah. there's like an actual, uh, plot development, character development. This movie doesn't have it. It's like, no, it's going to be a spectacle movie. We got to compete with those Marvel movies. No. It's going to be a big spectacle, but the horror version of it. And so we're going to have lots of these kit scenes where Michael Myers, the monster, Kills a bunch of people in really gory ways, and that's what the horror audience really wants. Yep, that's you all know, they want. That's all they want. All and they're going to paint the screen red with blood. And I'm like, you know, even if you can't do that with like uh, in a way that's um, uh, mildly entertaining. Well, I mean, are, are you entertained by the Tom Savini gore things? I mean, it. Uh, I mean, I suppose it's entertaining in a way. Even though we're sitting there again, I say, you know, what you're watching wholesale death, but it's the idea. <laughs> 
that you are the audience watching a magic trick. It's like watching a, ma- a magician do stuff. And now mm. that's not there anymore. Now you're just watching. Well, it doesn't even look like they really got killed. <laughs> you know, right? it's like it, fi- it visually looks like it. The guy got a knife through his eye and went uh, 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 and fell down. But it's like, okay, the intent is there. And I see what you're doing. That's disgusting. But it doesn't feel like that actually happened. You know, it, and, uh, it doesn't matter two seconds later. And it, yeah. it literally and so, doesn't matter two seconds later. It's just like, I don't know. These new slashers don't really connect with me in any way, you know, in that way to entertain you or, to, you know, awe you or whatever, or freak you out or whatever. And, uh, you know, you got a horror movie. I think like the number one thing you got to do is you got to you got to kind of be scary. And, uh, be this right? one doesn't do that at all. I was saying, actually, I asked the group, like, when was the last time a Halloween movie was scary? And I think we were saying Halloween four. Halloween four was uh, actually had you know decent suspense. Mm-hmm. You know, it built suspense with the music mm-hmm. and the direction. Michael's and, creeping around in like shadows. Yeah, and yeah. It just shows yeah. up yeah. and goes yeah. away. Being when on the, the house. Oh fuck! Being like, on the it roof, turns yeah. into a haunted house thing yeah. because we oh, we know he's in and that house. Escalation yeah. to yeah. it. And then the that, ending like, of that movie is brutal. And like, you need to watch that. Love again. the ending of that movie. Yeah, I have a, a real soft spot for Halloween four. Same. I mean, it's not like uh, you know. I mean, to me, it's there's Halloween one and two is the story, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and then there's Halloween four is like years later we made Halloween four, and that's the best you could do it. And it's like yeah. as time goes on, I'm like I have a, a very uh, a, a sentimental soft spot for that movie, right. and then pretty much everything else. I'm like, man, watch them, but that's how I am too. Those yeah. are the ones mm-hmm. I like, yep. you know, that I would actually go back. To. I always try to give five another chance. Uh, I'm giving five another chance tonight. Well, I like, I, I'll, I'll, I like number I, five, but that's just me. I'm with five for like maybe the first half hour and then it really it really and yeah. we got psychic connections yeah. big no, no, cookie yeah. woman cookie like, woman should yeah. never give you a problem after this movie yeah. ever again give me cookie woman yeah i just don't like that they made woman. a child and then they made they made donald pleasant say cookie woman come on he deserves cookie better woman. than that yeah, yeah. oh man My yeah God. yeah <laughs> did he kill a guy no. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you're bringing back uh, some uh, some emotions. Like right? I said, Colin, I watch them every day this month, so yeah. they're all fresh in there. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of this, but basically, I mean, am I saying that you should not watch this? I mean, obviously, there's people who think like twenty the 2018 Halloween so great. I hated it, so I hate the extension. Mm. You know, it's like it just is a shapeless mess that's just fallen all over the place, and stuff happens on the screen, but. Ultimately, it doesn't mean anything. You watch it, and then you walk away. So I wouldn't recommend it, especially... Here you go. I am not going to recommend it to the Halloween fan. Ah. Mm -hmm. This is where we have to go. Halloween Mm -hmm. fan shouldn't watch it. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone should fucking watch it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, There's nothing in either of these two movies, 2018 and this one, that even compares to... And we're going to go back to it again. Halloween 4, when at the gas station, when he finally sees... When Loomis is in there and he sees Michael, he's like... Leave that town alone. Take me, Michael. <laughs> God damn you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a great moment, and he delivers it <laughs> with such gravitas, and none of these movies come even would even compare to that right. little scene in that movie. This movie fucking sucks. Like, it is insulting. Yep. It's badly written. Um, I, I mean, you could say we're being, maybe we're reading too much into it, but that's all they gave us. They're like, here's some cool kills. Uh, the dialogues. How many fucking people does this get past? Do they not talk to anyone normal when they're screening say, these movies? Sean, they lay it out pretty openly for us that we can't not we can't read into it. They tell us everything I mean, directly. It is, it is all. So it's just, it is all. They don't level. allow us to read into it. No, it's just I don't. I don't. What there was the whole mob thing, and then the the guy from the. We make him jump out a window. What the fuck is this movie? Yeah. Like, they're not. I mean, it's everything Colin said. I'll come from the emotional part. It just, it makes me, it made me feel bad. Like, ugh. Ugh. Yeah. It's, I found this movie insulting, um, but I think I'd find it insulting on a not Halloween fan basis. Like, I, I love the Halloween movies. Like I said, I'll go to bat for five. But, like, if I'll go to bat for five and I'm telling you this movie fucking sucks, this movie fucking sucks. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> yeah. Halloween sucks. I mean, I like a lot. I like I, I like more about the Halloween movies than I think anybody with good taste should. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but this one is horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Um, I don't ever want to watch it again. I don't. Yep. I'm sure in five years it'll be like, 
How'd that one feel? And I'll put it back on again because I'm a fucking idiot and I like <laughs> I like Halloween. You're calling it right now. Five years from now, there'll be articles like things you were wrong about with Halloween Kill or like yeah. revisionist, like why it's the best movie ever. Yeah, you know, probably. But this this movie is is nothing, especially. And you know, uh, I t- was talking to my sister in law today, and she's like, "Did you see the new Halloween movie?" Because she hadn't seen it. Mm-hmm. Are you excited? I'm like, "No." I'm like, "Eh, kind of." Plus, I mean, there's gonna be another one. She's like, "Oh, there's gonna be another one." I'm like, "Fuck!" Yeah. I didn't want to do that to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Going into this because there are some people who are aware of Halloween Kills, but do not know Halloween that ends. Oh, those yeah. people have got to be the ones going like, "This movie sucks because it doesn't end." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. They're, they're well, like, wait, what? So this oh. movie's completely inconsequential to. Yes. In con- that's because no one I'm- even made like what Tommy Doyle's the only one major person that died. Tommy, Do- I mean, I mean Marion, but she didn't. Yeah, she I was didn't like, matter. she's not major. I, like, yeah. I don't count Marion or Lonnie or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, yeah. It, because they, again, they these don't are just- matter to the plot. Yeah. yeah, no, so we really just it's a waste to- of time. Yeah, it, it's a wa- it is it's a waste of time. There mm-hmm. it is. Halloween Kills is a waste of time. <laughs> it occurs to me that like Jamie Lee Curtis wasn't even there when her daughter died, so they kept on having these shots of her like standing. Were in they the implying hallway. a psychic connection? But they were well. <laughs> she, somehow she can feel that you know. Yeah, happen, but, yeah. Like her, which it would be a psychic connection. <laughs> rela- her stoic reaction was like. I don't even. Like, I, I just can't felt, even read what she's. No, I, I think she just felt a disturbance in the forest. Yes, she just yeah. Felt someone which, died. Which is in Halloween. <laughs> Rob Zombie's Halloween too, and everyone had a problem with that. Then. Oh, is it? Yes. Uh, oh I yeah. Like movie, so Lori, with Lori is getting like she's having visions of what Michael's doing, and she kind of like uh, yeah. it's it's, uh, it's kind of like malignant, honestly. <laughs> like she she gets uh, she gets kind of paralyzed and like freaks out, and she like can like she can taste blood in her mouth. And she yeah. has a psychic connection to Michael just in like that one. Five. Yeah, it's just Ooh. like five. Yeah. These are all things that have been done and criticized before. Yeah, but we're right. just doing them again. Yeah. So we're saying this, that there's this, really no. not an original bone no, in its no. body. This entire no. movie, this entire movie was the trip to the casino planet in Last Jedi. Didn't need to happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, didn't need I, to happen. Didn't matter to the plot. Yeah. I might be able to give you a more comprehensible wrap up in a week when I've had time to think about it. But no, right I think now, you nailed the, it. the emotional <laughs> feeling is this fucking blows, and I'm. Yeah. Ugh. Halloween blows. And I am not. Uh, yeah, Halloween blows. That's. Yeah. that's yep. There it is. There it is. We, have, we ended on that. Yeah. Halloween blows. That's it. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. This is this. This felt like a job tonight. Yeah. Like we had to watch this movie yeah. for you. I'm sorry we don't I'm like it as have much to as watch some it of you. Second time. My husband hasn't seen it yet, so I'm, I'm have probably to watch it. I'll can watch, watch it with him. somebody at some point. I'm sure. I just don't, I don't want, want to influence to. his viewing of it. You know, I yeah. want him to be able to watch it purely without me like rolling my eyes. Right. And yes, and that's sighing, what, and I you know? didn't. Yeah, and I didn't want to. Like, I didn't yeah. want to do that tonight. But then you all started. Trying yeah. To yeah. At some point, problems. I just I'm gave just like, up. Yeah. I'm like, just like Fuck, I want. I don't want to influence is, anybody. Yeah. I know yeah, how I no. feel. I don't want to do it for everybody else. But then we're, because in common, like this is god awful. Yeah. Like, yeah. From the back, and we're like, yeah, it is. I held that in for a while. Then it was like, I can't take it. But that's what it is. It got to a crescendo of wow. This is bad. I, I I was just shaking my head so much. Like, I'm gonna, my neck's going to be sore yeah. tomorrow. For how many times this movie, I was just shaking my head yep. at what I was seeing. Throwing my hands up in question, yeah. like, yeah. every 10 minutes. Like, yep. what? I saw that. I saw what are we doing? doing that, yeah. What are we doing? Mm-hmm. Why are we still doing it? <sighs> no. So, I mean, that's a that's a unanimous freak show pass. On the flip side. Oh, no. To... Don't bring it in now. No, but, okay. I mean, it's interesting to me that, like, Halloween is a, a, a series that is fractured off in so many different ways mm. that you can't follow, you know, you just have to kind of restart it every couple of years or whatever. Uh, the series Chucky just pre- premiered this past Keeps week. Keeps going. And I, I'm just like... I mean, because I think the remake happened without the creator's uh, I believe so, yeah. So, But he has been making the same fucking, you know, the storyline since Mm -hmm. 1988. So you can do it. Like, all the characters are still there. Like, everybody you've picked up along the way, like, nope. Remember that thing that happened in episode three? We're still doing that. It's like the Cobra Kai, you know? It's (laughs) the Cobra Kai of of horror is the Chucky series. Um, Okay, so uh, that's- This might uh, be the most brilliant play in the Halloween series. They keep connecting. They can't redo it and start a whole new story because they have to- in order for you to understand what's going on in this one, you have to go buy the Blu-ray of the first one to watch that again. So they make money off of that. And then you got to watch this one in order to understand that. Oh, but there's more and it also goes off this way. So you got to watch that. Mm. Money, 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 money. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. They're making money and they, they don't money. really care what we think. I, they can because this <laughs> is going to make money. They only care when you stop going. Yeah. And then like, oh, we should But we're it never going to stop going because we're going to sit there and hate watch it or whatever. It's not like we're not going to see Halloween ends, right? 
If you make me talk about that next time, <laughs> <time, laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> unless something crazy happens, can we, can we See, not do the thing. it? Yeah. I mean, at some point, you really do just have to go like, you have to quit I it. am What if listener requests month? I mean, if, they, want, us, if yeah. they request us, if they want to hear it, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would do it for well, listener request month. No thankfully, problem. that's a couple years away. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we got yeah. some time <laughs> to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, so uh, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... I have no fucking clue. I am so <laughs> broken. Uh, Colin, <laughs> <laughs> what are we watching next week? Please, God, make it fun. Oh no! Uh, I hope so. I don't know. All right, so uh, no we're gonna we're gonna do a a twofer. We're gonna get two tastes that uh, taste great oh. together. Together, how's that? The the Reese's two great tastes that taste great together. There you go. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna do uh, George A. Romero and Dario Argento together in one movie, and it's called Two Evil Eyes. Ooh. All right, and all right. Uh, okay. Next week, on I'm intrigued. This- why right. does evil have to be in the title? Yeah. Oh, Sean's triggered by that God word. God damn it. I'm, I'm going to be triggered by evil the word evil. Evil dies tonight. Oh, evil dies tonight. tonight. Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. <laughs>